available for football action. Today it's a Floyd County matchup as Betsy Lane will host Floyd Central in the final game of the regular season. Charlie Pinson along with uh, Larry Cecil bring you all the action here, Larry. And uh, I think it's a pretty good matchup here tonight. I think so, Charlie. Uh, you know, you look at the records, Betsy Lane's 5-4 and four and and uh, Floyd Central 0-9. Uh, oh but uh, you look at the uh, schedule for uh, Floyd Central, uh, five of the nine losses that they've had this year has been seven points or less. Uh, the last three games now has been uh, double-digit uh, uh, losses. But, uh, you know, they've been in a lot of games that they could have, uh, if had a break one way or the other, could have been a victory for them. Oh, you're right. I mean, we've covered several of their games early on. And, you know, a lot of those games went down to the last possession. And I, that's something we may be looking at here tonight. I was talking to some other people, and they think whoever has the football last may have a big chance to win, still have a chance to win at that point. Well, you're right. Uh, we've talked to uh, some of the other uh, broadcasters here in the booth and then, uh, you know, some of the people in the crowd, and they think, uh, uh, you know, you get about the same uh, answer on that. So, uh, of course, you know, just uh, like any other time, basketball or whatever, any uh, these two schools play each other uh, in basketball and baseball and everything. So it's a rivalry. And uh, when that happens, uh, most of the time you can just throw the, uh, the uh, records out. Well, I think you're right. I mean, both these teams can, can move the football. You know, you look at it and then, you know, they both like to run the football more than anything else. Look, you know, two or three of them, you know, two or three nice rushers on both times. You know, of course, right now, Betsy Lane, uh, they've got Reese Music has 133 carries and, Put up 16, 16, 1,616 yards rushing, averaging about 179 yards a game. So they average more rushing than uh, Floyd Central does. Floyd Central probably averages about 150, 200 yards a game, which is really close to what Reese Music averages. Yeah, you're right. Uh, and uh, Betsy Lane also, uh, Charlie, as far as uh, passing, uh, started out uh, – uh, in the uh, early in the season, Brady Robinson was the quarterback, but they uh, switched over to uh, Carter Parsons, and Parsons is uh, 31 out of the six. He's had five interceptions, four touchdown passes, uh, 474 yards, so uh, that kind of gives a nice little compliment to the running game. You can't really rely or, or just uh, uh, depend on stopping the running game to stop them because they can pass the ball. You're right, and of course, his favorite target looks like it's Brady Robinson. 20 Q catches for 386 yards. He's averaging 40, almost 43 yards a game in receiving. But I think, the, really, I think this is going to be a running matchup, both of these teams. Now, Floyd Central's got a really big front line on the offensive end, so that may make a difference. Yeah, I, I uh, think you're right on that. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, Betsy Lane uh, in the playoffs, uh, uh, Floyd Central not, so, uh, you know, it, it gives them a little extra incentive to the seniors on uh, Floyd Central, you know, uh, this could be their last game of their career as far as high school, and uh, I know they're, they've got a long uh, losing streak right now, I'm not sure what it is, but I, I think it's into the 20-some games that they've uh, losing streak they lost, so, you know, they've got a big incentive to try to uh, get back. We're going to take a break, and we'll be watching the senior night here at Betsy Lane. We'll be right back. This is Intermountain Sports Network. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Betsy Lane High School's senior night. Tonight, will we will we be honoring our senior football members, senior golf members, senior cheerleaders, and senior dance team members. We will start off tonight with our football seniors. Six, six, three, and I go for it. 
Our first senior football player is Mr. Jackson Burchett. Jackson is the 18-year-old son of Chad and April Stump of Banner. He has been a member of the Betsy Lane High School football team for four years, and in addition to football, Jackson is active in track and esports. His future plans include attending business school and working in real estate. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jackson Burchett. Our next senior football player is Mr. Jacob Carrere. Jacob is the 18-year-old son of Jennifer Gamble of Harold. Jacob has been a member of the Betsy Lane High School football team for four years, and in addition to football, he is active in track. His future plans include going to the Marines. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jacob Carrere. Our next senior football player is Mr. Brady Hall. Brady is the 18-year-old son of Michael Hall and the late Kimberly Hall of Ivel. Brady has been a member of the Betsy Lane High School football team for five years, and in addition to football, Brady is active in baseball and STLP. His future plans include attending Eastern Kentucky University and majoring in physical therapy. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Brady Hall. Our next senior football player is Mr. Reese Music. Reese is the 18-year-old son of Bill and Jamie Music of Prestonsburg. Reese has been a member of the Betsy Lane High School football team for four years, and in addition to football, Reese is active in baseball and track. His future plans include attending college and playing football. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Reese Music. Our next senior football player is Mr. Brady Robinson. Brady is a 19-year-old son of Pat and Jeff Robinson of Harold. Brady has been a member of the Betsy Lane High School football team for four years, and in addition to football, Brady is active in basketball and baseball. His future plans include continuing his football career in college. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Brady Robinson.
Our next senior football player is Mr. Dakota Stumbo. Dakota is the 17-year-old son of Tracy and Melinda Stumbo of Harold. Dakota has been a member of the Betsy Lane High School football team for nine years, and in addition to football, Dakota is active in FFA and robotics. His future plans include attending Auburn University and becoming a veterinarian. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Dakota Stumbo. Our final senior football player is Mr. Byron Tackett. Byron is a 19-year-old son of Dormal and Beth Tackett of T. Berry. Byron has been a member of the Betty Lane High School football team for one year, and in addition to football, Byron is active in baseball, basketball, and STLP. His future plans include becoming a certified HVAC and attending college. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Byron Tackett. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, your 2022 Betsy Lane High School football seniors. Next group of seniors we will recognize is from our cheerleading squad. Our first senior cheerleader is Miss Cheyenne Kraft. Cheyenne is the 18-year-old daughter of Michelle Blanton and the late Billy Ray Kraft of Prestonsburg. Cheyenne has been a member of the Betsy Lane High School cheerleading squad for four years, and she is also active in National Honor Society and the Beta Club. Cheyenne's future plans include attending the University of Pikeville and majoring in nursing. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Cheyenne Kraft. Our next senior cheerleader is Miss Samara Durbin. Samara is a 17 year old daughter of Stephanie Adams of Harold. Samara has been a member of the Betsy Lane High School cheerleading squad for five years and she is also active in the gifted and talented and annoying her boyfriend. Cheyenne's future plans include attending Big Sandy Community and Technical College and majoring in nursing. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Samara Durbin. Ah! 
Our next senior cheerleader is Miss Sarah Hackney. Sarah is the 18-year-old daughter of Alfreda McKinney of Pikeville. Sarah has been a member of the Betsy Lane High School cheerleading squad for three years, and her future plans include attending the Galen College of Nursing. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Sarah Hackney. Our next senior cheerleader is Miss Cadence Mullins. Cadence is a 17-year-old daughter of James and Mitzi Mullins of Harold. Cadence has been a member of the Betsy Lane High School cheerleading squad for five years, and she is also active in National Honor Society, the Beta Club, and Talented and Gifted. Her future plans include attending the University of Kentucky and majoring in engineering. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Cadence Mullins. Our next senior cheerleader is Miss Kaylee Raymond. Kaylee is a 17 year old daughter of Kalista Raymond and Paul Nichols of Pikeville. Kaylee has been a member of the Betcha Lane High School cheerleading squad for one year, and her future plans include attending college. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Kaylee Raymond. Our last senior cheerleader is Miss Mackenzie Watson. Mackenzie is a 17-year-old daughter of Angie and Dennis Watson of Betsy Lane. Mackenzie has been a member of the Betsy Lane High School cheerleading squad for six years, and she is also active in the National Honor Society and the Beta Club. Mackenzie's future plans include attending Eastern Kentucky University and majoring in pre-law. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Mackenzie Watson. We will now be recognizing our senior dance team member, Miss Lindsay Porter. Lindsay is a 17-year-old daughter of Denise and Randy Porter of Banner. Lindsay has been a member of the dance team for two years, and in addition to dance, she is an active member in FCSI and the FFA. Lindsay's future plans include attending Moorhead State University. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Lindsay Porter. We will now be recognizing our senior golf members. Our first senior golf member is Mr. Michael Carter Akers. Carter is the 18-year-old son of Misty and Michael Akers of Dana. Carter has been a member of the Betsy Lane High School golf team for four years, and in addition to golf, Carter is also an active member of Stage Band, FFA, National Honor Society, and the Beta Club. His future plans including, include attending the University of Pikeville or the University of Kentucky to become a dentist. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Michael Carter Akers. <clears throat> Our next senior golf member is Mr. Tyler Tackett. Tyler is the 18-year-old son of Brian and Jennifer Tackett of Harold. 
Tyler has been a member of the Betsy Lane High School golf team for three years, and his future plans include attending Big Sandy Community and Technical College to major in nursing. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Tyler Tackett. Our final senior golf member is Miss Haley Dye. Haley is the 18-year-old daughter of Patrick and April Dye of Grethel. Haley has been a member of the Betcha Lane High School golf team for five years, and she is an active member of archery, STLP, robotics, and the FBLA. Haley's future plans include attending Alice Lloyd College and majoring in business. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Haley Dye. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, your senior cheerleading squad members, golf team members, dance team member, I'm Zachary McCoy. I'm running for jailer of Floyd County, Kentucky, with over 10 years of experience in correction and a degree in criminal justice. I'm the only qualified candidate for this position. Vote for me, Zachary McCoy, Floyd County Jailer, 2022. Howard Family Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service and drive throughs at both locations at the intersection in Allen and off Route 80 at Eastern. I'm Ashley Tackett-Lafferty, and for the last four years, I've worked hard to deliver millions of dollars in funding for Floyd and Pike counties. I've fought hard as your representative to bring good jobs back to our prison and wheelwright, to finally complete the 680 connector between Minnie and Harold, and to four-lane the Mountain Parkway through Prestonsburg. My voting record in Frankfurt proves that you can count on me. Re-elect Ashley Tackett-Lafferty. She fights for us. The Appalachian Advantage plan is the simpler, better way to get the phone you actually want instead of paying hundreds of dollars up front. Simply pay the taxes up front and a few extra dollars a month and get the phone you really want. It's called the Appalachian Advantage, available at Appalachian Wireless. You plan on being there for her for a long, long time. For recitals. Soccer games. Graduations. Until she's a grown-up of her own. But what if you can't be there? Protect what matters most. Talk to a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent about life insurance. Come push me, Daddy. Talk to agent John Greer Hunt today at 606-791-2122. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, social security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Fully wireless sensors mean easy installation without damage from drilling. One app gives you total control over every aspect of your home. The ultimate deterrent for porch pirates. Know exactly when you receive a delivery. You need security that is a fully integrated security solution. Encrypted end-to-end -end and professionally monitored. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. I'm Steve Little, candidate for Floyd County Jailer. I've dedicated over 25 years of my life to public service. Now I'm ready to put that experience to work in public office. As jailer, I'll ensure inmates and staff are kept safe. I'll run a clean facility. I'll keep the drugs out, enforce inmate work programs, and use taxpayer money wisely. I would appreciate your vote and support to make a change at the jail. Elect Steve Little, Floyd County Jailer, for a clean, safe, and secure jail. Paid for by Steve Little. 
everything you love about TV, and more. Live, recorded, on demand, all in HD. Plus, easily find and watch your favorite shows. Anywhere, on any device. Great for the entire family and easy to use. Hello, this is Brandon Spencer, Republican candidate for state representative of the 95th district in Floyd and Pike counties. If we're going to change things in our district, it will take a team working together. The Kentucky House and Senate is now controlled by the Republican Party. I stand with Senator Rand Paul. My opponent stands with far left Charles Booker. With your vote on November the 8th, I will be part of a team that can help the 95th district. Paid for by Brandon Spencer. Welcome back to the Hill here at Betsy Lane as we're about ready for the coin toss. Betsy Lane hosting Floyd Central here tonight, the last game of the regular season, Charlie. And of course, Floyd Central winless on the season. Betsy Lane five and four. Betsy Lane will be traveling down to Paris next Friday night, uh, first round of the 1A playoffs. Absolutely. We got a lot of uh, teams in the playoffs here in the Eastern Kentucky. Got some home games this next week. I think Shelby Valley will have a home game. Pike will have a home game. Belfry. Uh, let me think. Who else we got? We got Martin County. Martin County. They'll be, yep. they'll be at home. Lawrence County. Yep. And a lot of teams on the road. There's a lot of teams on the road. You're exactly right. Like to uh, the Board County Board of Education, the National Federation, and the Kentucky High School Athletic Wait. Association requires officials to enforce sportsmanship rules. If you're not able to get to the game tonight, you can uh, listen to it on WXKZ 105.3. Also, watch it on WPRG TV, Channel 5 and HD 105. Also, the WPRG TV app. You've got Facebook and also YouTube. So, if you're not here you can watch it on many different platforms we encourage everyone that if you're watching on facebook to like and share with your friends give us a comment on who you're rooting for where you're rooting from let us know how we're doing here tonight and we're ready getting ready for the coin toss the officials over there going over all the pertinent rules before we get started you know about that i do yeah done that a time or two Time or two. Used to have a, uh, my grandpa was born in 1899. I used to have an 1899 silver dollar, and that's what I done the coin flip with. That's nice. I like yeah. it. Yeah. Make sure you didn't lose that one. Though. Oh, yeah. Well, you'd watch it there. You know, of course, these artificial fields, you know, and that old grass field in the mud and stuff back here, it's hard to find yep. sometimes, you know. There's the toss. And let's see. Looks like Floyd Central has won the toss. And they will defer until the second half. So it'll be Betsy Lane with the football to start the ball game. You're exactly right. So we'll get to see their offense on the field first, as uh, Charlie said. Uh, I think they will see a little bit of Reese music in that first series. What do you think? Just a little bit. Young man comes in uh, over 1,600 yards on the season, 20 touchdowns on the ground. So had a good season. Don't, they didn't have no stats as far as the uh, uh, rankings in the state uh, in the 1A, but I'm sure he'd be uh, probably up in top 10 I, maybe. Some, I heard somebody talking. He was just he was in second place in uh, uh, 2A. In, in, yeah, 2A. In 2A, yeah. yeah. I said 1A, 2A, right. Yeah. And that could be in uh, yards, uh, uh, total yards, and also scoring. Yeah, you know, could 20, be, yeah. 20 touchdowns, that's a whole lot of touchdowns yeah, on the ground. Man. Old buddy Kurt Stamper watching in from Knott County. Also, uh, brother-in-law Ronnie Kidd watching. And we've also got Esther and Trivia Reed watching. Uh, very faithful viewers uh, about everything that we do. Volleyball, basketball, football. Uh, those folks are on uh, the Facebook page watching us. 
Fireworks going off here in the end zone to our right as Betsy Lane is on the sideline. Floyd Central filtering on to theirs. And they'll be right down in front of us. Betsy Lane will be on the far side. Betsy Lane wearing the all blue and black and white for Floyd Central. Is this is the Mike Goble Bowl here tonight. Yes, it's, uh, it's the doctor. Mike Goble Bowl. So there'll be some trophies handed out after the game then, I suppose. Fireworks going off. Looks like the forest fire is kind of bad tonight, too, on this end of the field. Yep, I, you know, there's smoke coming right down onto the got, field. Got there's it. some smoke going. And both teams now got a viewer from Grant County. Said, love them Bobcats, number 53, especially. Appreciate your comment. Lloyd Central taking the field, getting ready to kick it off. The Betsy Lane return team making their way onto the turf. They might have to turn some fans on to clear that smoke yeah. off the field. It's, it's, it's moving out pretty quick, though. Yeah, it's clear now. And everybody set. Robinson back deep to return for Betsy Lane. Brady Robinson standing back at about the 18 yard line. And it looks like that is Marvin McDonald, number 30 for Floyd Central, getting ready to kick it off. And a long line drive kick. Robinson will have to try to run that one down. And I tell you, you want to hurry up, pick it up. We got a flag and he'll take it up the sideline him. And he'll get up to about the 36 yard line, depending on what that flag is. Could be a holding where it's at. It's uh, up at the 40 yeah. yard line of Betsy Lane's. Well, the officials discussing it here. Now here comes the white hat. Blocked the back. In the back against the Bobcats. Got to mark it back 10 yards and Betsy Lane would start, looks like, from their own 24-yard line. Not bad field position for them there. No. Betsy Lane in the spread, shotgun formation. And they hand it off. And is that music? It is. And he's going to lose a couple of yards. Well, he's going to lose, uh, looks like, five yards all the way back to the 19-yard line. So everybody knew he was going to get the football on that first play. Yes, and probably the second. Well, you would think so. Young uh, Carter Parsons, the freshman quarterback back there for Betsy Lane. They'll go out again out of the shotgun, split backs. Parsons looking back to the sideline to get the call. And we'll have a timeout quickly called by Betsy Lane. Just 11-18 to go here in this first quarter. Just underway. We'll take a quick break. Be right back. This is Cedar Mountain Sports Network. Are you tired of the same old cell phone? Want a new phone, but really don't want to pay the hundreds of dollars up front for it? Appalachian Wireless has a deal for you. Get the phone you actually want instead of settling for a cheaper phone with the Appalachian Advantage plan. Instead of paying $600 or more for the best phone, simply pay the taxes up front and then a few bucks a month more on your monthly bill. Stop by your local Appalachian Wireless store or dealer today for more information. It's the better, simpler way to pay. And it's called the Appalachian Advantage because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. And we're back here at Betsy Lane. Uh, Betsy Lane to run one offensive play. They lost the five yards, and uh, Coach didn't like what he seen. Called a quick timeout uh, less than a minute into the game, Charlie. Right, Parsons in the shotgun. He'll have motion coming to this side. And we'll try a little hole up the middle. And usually will get out across the 20 to about the 23. Be a pickup of four, third and 11. There was a hole there briefly, but closed down on him as Charlie said, got four yards. You know, Parsons uh, on the season is, is thrown it 400 or 100 or 60 times, 31 out of 60. Yeah. 
And there's going to be a reverse in the backfield. Robinson coming around, trying to get to the outside, makes a move, and then cuts back again. Cuts against the grain, gets a block, and Robinson cuts back and forth. He'll have a first down. Yes, he will. Out to the – and a flag comes in. That's out at the 38-yard line. Let's see. Play started at the 24. That'd be a 14-yard run, but let's see what the flag is. Personal foul. Floyd Central, so that'd be 15 tacked on. And the Betsy Lane now will have it at the 47-yard line of Floyd Central. There's motion in the backfield again, looking to throw Parsons and Robinson shakes off a tackle, goes down the sideline. And Robinson will get down to about the 38, it looks like. And they see they'll mark him right at the 42. Pick up for six. Second down and four now, 10-15. Rob Robinson, their leading receiver on the season. 10-15 to play here in the first quarter. No score. Trips right, one wide out left. Twins left, trips left, one wide out right, sorry. Parsons takes it, going to hand it off. Music out of the backfield. Music breaks a couple of tackles and gets down inside the 35 to about the 32-yard line, looks like. We'll give him 33, pick up a nine. So first and 10 now for the Bobcats. They're able to move the ball here. Boy, after that, after that first negative play of uh, losing uh, five yards, they've really turned it on now, Charlie. They, and I think that passing game opened up that running game for yes. them. Yes. You got to review, make them respect the pass, you know, makes the run much more effective. And the play action passing is even more effective. Exactly. And you got a good man by in the backfield uh, music there to run that play action pass right. off of. Pistol formation this time for Floyd Center. I mean, for Betsy Lane. Parson takes the snap, going to pick it back. Robinson. Robinson breaks a tackle. Tries to cut back inside and. He'll get across the 30, looks like, maybe the 29. That's two carries, 17 yards for Robinson. We're going to mark him right at the 30. So second down and seven. Nine, 10 to play here in the first half, or first quarter, sorry. And they'll line up again in that spread look. Twins right, one wide out left. Well, twins both ways now. Parsons will hand it off coming around underneath on the sweep and breaking tackles getting down inside the 15. That is Andrew McCutcheon. And McCutcheon has another first down for Betsy Lane. Boy, and if it wasn't for a shirt tail tackle, he would have been into the end zone. Yeah, he kind of put the juice to it when he got in the open field, didn't he? Yes, he did. He kicked her into another gear. Puts the ball down at the 13 yard line, first and 10. Parsons again in the shotgun. Takes the snap and will hand it off. Music. It, yep, music gets down to the 10, pushing the pile. You get down to the nine, looks like. We'll give him four yards yep. on that one. So second down and six. 8.14 now to go in the first quarter. Betsy Lane dr driving, has it inside the 10. They can get a first down without yes. scoring. Yes. Parsons gets the play from the sideline. And they come back up the line of scrimmage. One wide out split wide each way. And out of the pistol, there comes music. And music is going to get one, maybe two. We'll get maybe the seven or eight. You have to get to the, looks like four-yard line or three-yard line maybe to get a first down. 
Give him a gain of one. We'll call it third and five. One wide out, split wide each way, a slot to the left. Pistol formation. Parsons takes his time. And Betty Lane's going to use another timeout. Charlie. 17 left first quarter. Betsy Lane will have it third and five on the eight-yard line of Floyd Central when we return this year in the Mountain Sports Network. Looking for a new pharmacy? Howard Family Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service and convenient drive throughs at both locations. I'm Zachary McCoy. I'm running for jailer of Floyd County, Kentucky with over 10 years experience in correction and a degree in criminal justice. I'm the only qualified candidate for this position. Vote for me, Zachary McCoy, Floyd County Jailer, 2020. Welcome back to the Hill here at Betsy Lane as first drive of the ball game, the Bobcats down at the eight yard line of Floyd Central, third and five, seven, 10. He is, yep. They've had to call two timeouts, keep this drive alive. Some seeing some things that they didn't expect, I guess, from Floyd Central, having to make some changes. Right. But both coaching staffs working hard on the sideline. Long time out this time. First one was a quick in and out. Now they both come back out to the field. Again, 7-10 left here in the first quarter, no score. But Betsy Lane threatening. Third and five from the eight yard line. Music's had the last three carries for the Bobcats, so looks, looks to maybe change it up a little bit on this one. And nope. Gonna be stopped about the five, maybe. Six. Looks like a six, yep. So bring up a fourth and two. Actually, fourth and three, they moved it back a little yeah, bit. Yeah, they moved it back to the seven yard line, actually. Big call right here. I wouldn't be surprised to see him put Robinson in motion here and give him a sweep out of this. Well, they're going He's tight. In the backfield, yeah. Going tight formation on this one. And that flag. Music's in the end zone if it counts, but there is a flag inside the 10 yard line. Yes. False start. That's a killer right there. Yeah. Pro probably uh, they didn't throw the flag uh, before the snap. Yeah. That's probably a uh, illegal formation. The same thing. So it'll be fourth and well, fourth and nine. Well, it's five yard penalty yep. from the previous spot. See what they do here. You know, we saw Parsons throwing the ball in the warm up, so we know he can throw it. And Robinson has been his favorite target on the season. And they're going to split Robinson wide to the left. Have twins, actually, Cripps over here to the right. And another flag. What we got now? Delay a game. That's a quick delay a game. Wow. Bobcats going backwards. I thought that was a quick delay a game call, Larry. I, I did know. too. I They don't have the uh, play clocks running tonight. Well, you know, they had them running uh, during the uh, warm-ups and stuff, I saw them, but evidently uh, they've got them turned off now. So so same formation, back to throw. Parts is going to the end zone, and that's going to be a first down and goal as Robinson jumps up and makes his catch. He did, and that was a beautiful throw by Parsons as he that ball was in the air before Robinson ever uh, turned around to see where it's at. So that's going to end up a 11 yard gain and a first and goal for Betsy Lane. And they've taken a lot of time, Larry. Almost half the first quarter's gone. It's 6.14 to play here in the first. Well, 6.10 now. Yeah, it'll be under uh, over a half quarter uh, time they get this playoff. There's motion. We got a sweep and did he get in? 
No indication. Going to mark him right at the goal line, looks like. Short on the goal line. This will be second and goal now for the, the one. Was that music? Was that music on the carry? McCutcheon. McCutcheon. Yeah, okay. And he'll bring up second and goal from the up to one. Five and a half minutes to go here in the first quarter. Parsons in there. This time we're going to hand it to Music, and Music's in. One yard touchdown for Reese Music to put Betsy Lane up six to nothing with 525 to play here in the first quarter. Number 21 on the season for Music. Well, he is definitely not even close. Next, next guy is less than half of his numbers. The next down, Brady Robinson has almost 700 yards, but 1,600 plus for and, music. And Robinson's going to try the extra point attempt. He is 11 of 17 on the season. And it is 7 to nothing. Betsy Lane with 525 to play here in the first quarter on the Intermountain Sports Network. Seven. Everything you love about TV and more. Live, recorded, on demand, all in HD. Plus, easily find and watch your favorite shows. Anywhere, on any device. Great for the entire family and easy to use. Ashley Tackett Lafferty's record in Frankfurt is proof that we can count on her to defend traditional mountain values in working families. She votes to protect life, strengthen education, support first responders, and protect our Second Amendment. That's why she's been endorsed by teachers, coal miners, police officers, and the NRA. Ashley Tackett Lafferty is our trusted voice in the Kentucky House. Re-elect Ashley Tackett Lafferty. She fights for us. We're back at Betsy Lane, ready for kickoff. Betsy Lane, first point on the board, 7-0 as we had uh, music one-yard run and Robson good with the extra point. And a squib kick down the middle. Floyd Central finally picks it up at about the 28 and breaks a couple of tackles coming out to the outside and across midfield. Back to the 50. Yep. And guess who? Oh. That is Mr. B.J. Peterson. Good run. Yep. He's, we've seen actually, they're going to give him the 49 of Betsy Lane. Yep. We've seen him return some. We saw him return one for a touchdown earlier in the season. First and 10 now for Floyd Central. They're in the wishbone look. And second man through. And nice run, I believe that was, uh, that was number five. Number five, Adam. Blake Adams, yeah. So Adams picks up about four yards. It'll be second down and six. He'll get out to the 45. So they're looking, they're going to stay in that wishbone look again. Up under center is Max Martin. Martin this time. On the outside, and nice run. That's the first down and more out there for Colt Shelton. Flag comes in, Charlie, from the back judge. See what we got. Wait on the white hat to give us the call here. And going to go against Betsy Lane, personal foul. Face mask. Yep. Yeah. Betsy Lane, not just like that. I mean, Lloyd Central moving the ball quickly, Larry. Well, you know, it always helps get a 15-yard penalty and yeah. add it on to the end of a good run. It doesn't hurt. You're right. That's three penalties now for Betsy Lane for 25 yards. So Martin under center, wishbone behind him again. And set side on the outs. Trying to go. Ooh, nice tackle that time by... This was that Blake Adams on the carry? Yeah, it was, and Robinson on the tackle. We'll give him three, looks like. Second down and seven now. 427 to play here in the first quarter. Seven-nothing. Betsy Lane leading, but Floyd Central moving the football. 
Wishbone formation again. Martin under center. Takes it in and again. Trying to go to the outside. And a good little run for Blake Adams again. He'll get down to about the 21-yard line. Gain of five. Third and three or third and two. That was number 11, B.J. Oh, Peterson. Okay, they changed him out on me. Peterson. And go get to Peterson again. And Peterson breaks through. Does he get in? Waiting for a signal. I can't see that end zone. Going to be inside to five before he goes out of bounds. Have a flag, though, pointed back to Bits there against Floyd Central, so that one's coming back out. Let's see what the call is. So that'll back them up. Two penalties now for Floyd Central, 25 yards. And that's going to make it third and 10. Yep. <laughs> Wishbone look again. And they're going to give it to Peter. Oh, he's going to throw. Martin throwing downfield, looking for the end zone. Got a man, and it's incomplete. Great defense that time by number nine, Carter Parsons, as he looked back and looked like the receiver had the ball in his hands, and Parsons just reached in, punches it out as yep. they go to the ground. Yeah, I thought he was going to pull it in. I'm like you. So it'll be third, fourth down and 10 now from the 33. And obviously four down territory here for Floyd Central. They're going to go empty backfield, trips to the right. Martin in the sh shotgun, rolling out to his right, looking, looking. He's going to tuck it and run. And he's going to have the first down. And more. He'll get down to about the 15-yard line, looks like. Pick up of 18 yards. Big run for Martin. Rolled out to his right. Nobody come up to challenge him, so he had a wide open field. Betsy Lane had, had him where they wanted to uh, as far as the defense and let him off the hook on that one. Martin under center, has motion. And did he keep it himself? No. Who did he give it to? Is that... Trying to get a number. I didn't get to, did you get who it was, Larry? Johnson on the carry for Floyd Johnson. Johnson. Back to the wishbone, second down and eight. And there is Adams, I believe, back in the ball game. The first down. And it bring up third down and one for Floyd Central. That was Adams. Yes. And they'll line up under center and Martin hand it off and that's gonna be a touchdown. And I believe that's Colt Shelton. Martin, I think, wasn't it? Was it 18 or 15? I thought it was 18. Yeah, Martin's the quarterback. Okay. And it's going to be 7 6 with 235 to play here in the first quarter. And they will attempt the extra point. Peterson will kick. And a flag. Will be outside Betsy Lane, so Floyd Central might change her mind on it now. Maybe Carter. so, yep. And it looks like they will. Looks like the offense coming back in. It'll be the what one and a half yard line. Yes. Yeah, the uh, extra point try is uh, placed at the three yard line. So they'll line up again in the wishbone. And here comes Adams, and touch the extra points, good. It is 8-7. Floyd Central now with 2.35 left here in the first quarter on the Intermountain Sports Network. 
When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a worker's compensation, social security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. You plan on being there for her for a long, long time. For recitals. Soccer games. Graduations. Until she's a grown-up of her own. But what if you can't be there? Protect what matters most. Talk to a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent about life insurance. Come push me, Daddy. Talk to Agent John Greer Hunt today at 606-791-2122. Said we're ready to kick it away. And this time we're going to kick it a little deeper. It'll be taken at the 20 by Robinson. Robinson coming up to the on the left side, and he'll be met by a whole host of Jaguars at the 35. They're going to mark him at the 36, so first and 10 there for Betsy Lane. Two twenty-five left here, first quarter. Both teams with one possession. Both teams with one touchdown. You know, we kind of thought it could be that kind of a game tonight. Parsons waiting on the officials. Here comes the gets everybody moves. Our snap and he gonna hand it around on the outside. McCutcheon coming around makes a nice move and he'll be drug out of bounds. A late flag. McCutcheon out to the 50-yard line, but like Charlie said, there's a flag. It's on Betsy Lane. I think he was signal number over to the Betsy Lane sideline. Hold it. Bobcats racking up the penalties right now, yep. Charlie. That's five already here in the first quarter, and it's 40 yards. That we takes away a... Big run by McCutcheon. Yes, uh, it does. Run of 14 yards. That'll move it back to the 30. Where it'll be first and 16. And the And back at the line of scrimmage, Betsy Lane. He'll be twins right, one wide out left. Parsons. And he's going to hand it off music on the jet sweep, and he'll get back up to the 31-yard line, right near near the original line of scrimmage. It'll be second down and 10. 22 yards now for music on eight carries. And Betsy Lane back up the line of scrimmage. Minute and a half left here in the first quarter. 8-7 lead for Floyd Central. Betsy Lane with twins each way. Here comes motion and looking to throw a little flanker screen and Robinson, he gets that one blown up and it'll bring him back, they'll give him a forward progress up to about the 33 yard line. But it'll bring up third and about 14. Blake Adams see that one coming. McCutcheon came over in motion, was trying to get the uh, block, but Nice job that time by Blake Adams yes. fighting off the block and stopping that play for a three-yard loss. So third and 13, remember a minute to play here in the first half, or first quarter. And we've got a official timeout. Okay. That's Robinson going off the field, maybe. Okay. Equipment uh, issue, or? I'm not sure. Equipment issue, maybe some blood on him or something. Maybe. And now we've got a play. Coming, uh, looking over at the uh, Betsy Lane bench. Oh, sideline warning. So no penalties marked off on that one. Third and 13 coming up for Betsy Lane. Betsy so. Lane, Charlie's uh, had two drives and on the first play of each drive, the first one, they had a five-yard loss, and this one had a big run, uh, notified right. by a 10-yard uh, holding penalty. So 
Uh, they're uh, starting both drives behind the chains. You're right. Parsons in the empty backfield. And he's looking to throw. Dropping back. Got time. Going deep and incomplete. Intended out there for Landon Howe. And it'll bring up fourth down in a punting situation for Betsy Lane. First incomplete, incomplete pass by Parsons. He's three of four now for 14 yards. That now look like a wounded duck a little bit coming yeah. down and fell. Mox is surprised by that uh, Floyd Central didn't pick that one off. Yeah, through in the middle of the field. He had, he had a receiver that had a step on his defender over here on the right and didn't see him. Punt. Boy, right. Nice end over end punt. Floyd Central with nobody back. That was dangerous. Why, why do you, why do you even know. get around that football? I don't know. We're going to mark it on the 30. So Floyd Central will have it first and 10. 31 seconds left here, first quarter. And the Jaguars have the lead, 8-7. Well, you know, they didn't meet much resistance the last time they drove football down the field. No, they didn't. And uh, Betsy Lane also helped them with that 15-yard face mask penalty. Right. First and 10 now from the 30. We have an official timeout. Robinson shaking up a little bit. Slow getting off the field again. Looks like uh, we're having an issue. He might have a, uh, you know, they're putting some tape on his lower leg. I think he's got a scratch or something Could on be. it, uh, bleeding a little bit, and they're having to get it cleaned up. Trying to go to the end of the round, and outside Adams, big run. Boy, he did a nice steal for him that time on Adams as uh, Brax, or Jackson Burchett came up, had a chance to stop him in the backfield for a loss, and Adams gave him a big steal for him. He ended up getting a 17-yard run out of it. So first and 10 now at the 47. Adams now 29 uh, yards on four carries. So it's in that flex bone look. There's motion at it, and you're going to hand it up. Well, nice move. Look, well, he's been tackled twice, still broke loose, gets out to about the 46 yard line. Who was that? Is that Adams, Adams again? Actually, he's tackled three times. The first time was by two of his linemen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As he cut up the field, uh, he bounced into two linemen and slowed him up. And the end of the first quarter, it's 8 7. Lloyd Central, this is Intermountain Sports Network. Howard Family Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service and drive throughs at both locations at the intersection in Allen and off Route 80 at Eastern. Fully wireless sensors mean easy installation without damage from drilling. One app gives you total control over every aspect of your home the ultimate deterrent for porch pirates. Know exactly when you receive a delivery. You need security that is a fully integrated security solution, encrypted end-to-end -end and professionally monitored. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. The Appalachian Advantage plan is the simpler, better way to get the phone you actually want instead of paying hundreds of dollars up front. Simply pay the taxes up front and a few extra dollars a month and get the phone you really want. It's called the Appalachian Advantage, available at Appalachian Wireless. Back at Benson Lane, ready for second quarter action. 8-7, Floyd Central with the lead. They'll have the, ba uh, the basketball, the football on uh, Benson Lane's 47-yard line, second and four when we get back to action. Won't be long to see that round ball. No, not long. So second down and four coming up for Floyd Central. Ball on the 47-yard line of Betsy Lane. And Floyd Central in the shotgun. And takes the hands it off out of the backfield to Peterson. And he'll get no gain. No gain. Yep. That was a lost the yard. So third and five. And 
the change in personnel out again. Let's see. That's number three, Johnson. Number five, Adams back in in the backfield. All right. Now it looks like they're going to go back to the wishbone. And, and going to carry it himself. And he got one man to beat, and he gets tackled at the 25-yard line. That's Martin, first down. 21-yard carry for Martin. Martin, two carries, 39 yards. He's their leading rusher, Charlie. Yeah. Wishbone again, Martin under center, takes it. And this time we're going to give it, is that Adams again? No, that would have been, uh, uh, where's he at? Shelton. Shelton. One pick three up. Back up, back still in the huddle, coming out now. They'll stay in the wishbone, looks like. Old buddy Richie Tackett watching in. Martin under center, takes it, and there's Adams, and Adams gets down inside the 20. He's a yard just short of the first down marker. It'll bring up a third and one. Ball on the 17, 18 yard line. Same wishbone look, Martin under center. And again, there's Adams. And he's got the first down down inside the 15. Down to the 14 yard line. 46 yards on seven carries now for Adams. Adams is their leading ground game. We're going to go in that flex bone look now. Find that jet sweep. They've got a hole, and he doesn't get into it. It'll be a first down. Well, I got a flag coming okay. in uh, following the play, so I think it's going to be a oh, hole. Yeah, it is. Shelton was inside the two, looked like. The hold occurred on the seven, so we're going to back him up 10 from there, put it back about the 17-yard line. Third penalty now for Floyd Central. It's 35 yards. 9.40 to play here in the first half. It is 8-7, Floyd Central. They've got it first and about 13. And we'll try to go up the middle with it. And Sheston Johnson gets down to about the 16-yard line. Pick up two, looks like. Second and 11 now. Both these teams has hurt themselves on their drives with big penalties. They have. And in the shotgun, empty backfield, looking to throw. Going downfield, that's going to be caught. And it's going to be a first and goal. Is that Adams on the kick and a flag? And that flag was right at the tackle, and it was only two people there was uh, Burchett and and Martin, Martin Jace Martin. Yes. Right. So let's see what the penalty is. Unsportsmanlike on Betsy Lane. Betsy Lane. Well, that's just going to be a two-yard penalty, more or less, because that's on the four-yard line. Yep. So it'll be, should be first and goal, I think, should it? Should be, yes. Yeah. First and goal for Floyd Central. Like they got a jumbo package in there now, Larry. Is that 52 in the back? No, he's, yeah, 52 going to carry it. Wildcat. So the big lineman in there. Uh, Didn't want no part of it, did Nope, he? nope. 52, that's Bryce Thacker. <laughs> So 14-7 now, Floyd Central with the lead.
Boy, Central brought a good crowd, Larry. Yes, they did. Big crowd uh, together here. The bleachers pretty well for us. Here comes the extra point attempt. Peterson will try to kick it again. He didn't kick the first one. They got, got the two-point conversion. And again, we're going to have offsides on Betsy Lane. And again, here comes the offensive unit in. Chance for them to get another two-point conversion. And that makes it a two-possession or three Two possession game, yeah. That's eight penalties here in the first half so far for Betsy Lane for a total of 46 yards and both extra point tries before they could get a snap, they jumped off sides. They're gonna try it again with the big package in the backfield. They're gonna direct snap it. And 52 takes it in again, Bryson, Bryce Thacker. And they also had big number 75, uh, Dalton Martin back there along with him. And it'll be 16-7. Floyd Central, 49 to play here in the first half. We'll be right back on the Intermountain Sports Network. This is Brandon Spencer, Republican candidate for state representative of the 95th District in Floyd and Pike Counties. If we're going to change things in our district, it will take a team working together. The Kentucky House and Senate is now controlled by the Republican Party. I stand with Senator Rand Paul. My opponent stands with far left Charles Booker. With your vote on November the 8th, I will be part of a team that can help the 95th District. Paid for by Brandon Spencer. We're back at Betsy Lane, 16-7. Floyd Center with the lead as Big number 52, Bryce Thacker, 6'3", 290 pounds, takes it in three yards out for the touchdown. Betsy Lane jumps offside, so they decide to go for the two-point conversion. And Thacker also takes that one in for the two points. So Floyd Central set to kick off Betsy Lane. And they're ready to see if they'll pooch kick it or kick it deep. And they're gonna be a line drive. Robinson picks it up at the 21 after a little difficulty and he tries to get to the outside and nowhere to go. They'll get him out of bounds. Where they're gonna mark him at about the 20, looks like about six. 26 or seven, somewhere in that range. Uh, that's looks 27, like the, uh, looks like going to the 27. So first and 10 for Betsy Lane. Both teams have had the penalties tonight. Betsy Lane's cost them, maybe cost themselves more. Yes. Well, they, they've had 46 yards and penalties on eight penalties. Floyd Central 35 yards on three penalties. And here comes the end around again. There. Yep. And music out to about the 34 yard line. We'll pick up seven. Nine carries for music now, 29 yards. Second and three now for Betsy Lane. They come back up. Parsons out of the shotgun, twins each way. There's motion. And we'll give it to McCutcheon. McCutcheon cuts back up inside. And he's got a first down out near the 40 yard line. Going to mark him 41, give him seven. Seven yard consecutive runs by the Bobcats. First and 10 now from the 41. 7.45 to play here in the first half. It is 16 to seven. Floyd Central. Betsy Lane again. Twins each way. Parsons in the shotgun. There's and they're going to give it a little reverse, double reverse in there. And I'll tell you, nice job of Robinson to avoid contact. And he'll get a first. I think he's going to have a first down at the 49. Right at the yard marker. I think they're going to. Well, now yep. I've got a flag back here. Okay. 
Most likely, I hope. Block the back. Block the back. Yep. And that's at the 36. That's five yards behind the line of scrimmage. And then you mark off 10 from there. Yep. Spotted the foul. So that's going to put Betsy Lane first in about 25. That's a huge penalty. Yes. And again, what do we say? Of course, yep. that's the third play on the drive, but uh, every drive they've had, uh, first two or three plays, they've had a lot, uh, big penalty. Yep. And nowhere to go. Trying to come back to that side. Music breaks another tackle. He's and got room now. Now he's got some people out there rocking for him. And music. He is out to the 45. 45. I don't see the other sticks. I guess they dropped them. 19 yard run by music. That was all music. He ran as far as he could to the left and he had to cut back to the right. Well, he was he was tackled two times for about a 10 yard loss behind the line of scrimmage and was able to break free. So second down and six from the 45, seven minutes. Three seconds left here in the second quarter. 16 to seven, Floyd Center. Wins each way now for Betsy Lane. Parsons in the shotgun. There's motion. And Parsons will try to run that, it himself. That was Robinson. Well, it's Robinson in the quarterback. Robinson taking off down the sideline. Big, big run down near the 30, first down. And they say that he stepped out at the 29. So that was a 26-yard run by Robinson. A little trickeration there for Betsy Lane. Robinson, three carries, 43 yards. A pretty good average. It is. Back to the line of scrimmage now. Again, twins each way. Is that? I can't see a number. We'll see. That's, That's Robinson, Robinson again. Yep. He will come back sweep to this side. And he'll get down to about the 25-yard line. Pick up of about four. Well, no, pick up of about six. We're going to mark him at about the eight, about the 23-yard line. Pick up seven. Second and three. So second down and three. I just have to take your word for it. I'm in the dark here now. I can't see that corner. Yeah, I'm going to have to get over here a little closer to everybody else, see what, what's going on here. Betsy Lane will come back up the line of scrimmage again. Twins each way. Now Parsons back at quarterback. There's motion. And double reverse again. McCutcheon. And McCutcheon gets down the inside to 20. It's a first down at the 19-yard line for Betsy Lane. And that's going to be good enough for another Bobcat first down. McCutcheon 23 yards now on four carries. First and 10, Betsy Lane from the 19 of Floyd Central. Nice drive the Bobcats got going right now. Charlie. They do, 634 left here in this second quarter. B. Wins to the, well, one wide out deep, split backs in the backfield. And we'll hand it to Robinson in the backfield. Robinson will get down to about the 15, maybe. Maybe the 16. Let's see. We have a clock stop going to be at the 16-yard line. Timeout. Timeout, Floyd Central. 6.04 to play here in the second quarter, 16-7. Floyd Central over Betsy Lane on the Intermountain Sports Network. A little candidate from Floyd County Jailer. I've dedicated over 25 years of my life to public service. Now I'm ready to put that experience to work in public office. As Jailer, I'll ensure inmates and staff are kept safe. I'll run a clean facility. I'll keep the drugs out, enforce inmate work programs, and use taxpayer money wisely. I would appreciate your vote and support to make a change at the jail. Elect Steve Little, Floyd County Jailer, for a clean, safe, and secure jail. Paid for by Steve Little. 6.04 left, first half. Betsy Lane, Floyd Central. Floyd Central, 16-7. 
Bobcats on the move. They have it second and seven on the Ford Central 16 yard line. And Charlie, they had the big penalty block in the back, five yards behind the line of scrimmage. So more or less penalized them for 15 yards and they've overcome that and got it down inside the red zone. Yep, second down and seven here. One wide out split each way, split backs in the backfield. Parsons takes a snap, hands it again to Robinson. Robinson gonna be tackled for a loss back at about the 20 yard line. Lost the four. So third and 11 now. Didn't get the number, but that defensive end for Floyd Central wasn't food at all on that one. I think that was number three. Uh, Sheston Johnson. Betsy Lane back in the huddle. Approaching five minutes, 30 seconds left here in the first half. They trail 16 to seven. Might Long see, huddle. Yeah, might see a delay here. Might see some kind of a pass out of this one. Parsons three of four in the passing game, 14 yards. Robson has all three catches. Now they're going to go twins each way. Parsons in the shotgun. And there's that double reverse. And nothing going. They haven't got blown all to pieces. Yep. Lost all the way back to the 26. They went to the well one time too many. Well, you know, I, I think that was uh, Robinson coming around, and I think he was going to pass the ball, Charlie, because once he picked it up after he dropped it, he, he uh, had both hands on it and looked downfield like he was going to attempt to pass it. Fourth down and 16. Empty backfield look. Parsons looking to throw, has some time. He's going to run it, up, oh, going to run it, and that's going to be an illegal pass. That was, that's going to come back, Larry, as if he was past the line of scrimmage. Well, it, they have declined it because that was fourth down, but they intercepted the ball in the end zone, so they'll get it, but it'll be at the 20-yard line, so they actually lost six yards by doing that. Yep. Because... If he knocks the ball down, right. they will get it on the 26 yard Yes, sir. Is that a loss of down, Larry, though? Well, it doesn't make any difference. It's fourth down anyway. Yeah, but I'm saying, though, they wouldn't play it over, so the penalty would come back. It wouldn't, they wouldn't have a play, do it, wouldn't play it over, would they? No. If so they may get the ball at the loss of down. They may get it up here at the – Well, they're marking that at the, at the 20. 20. Okay. So what they've done is they declined it. So it must not have been a loss of down penalty. So first and 10 now for Floyd Central. First turnover of tonight by either team. In that flex bone look, there's motion out of it. And trying to go to the outside. What well, a nice move. Breaks the tackle. Got a hold down to the outside. And he'll be drug out of bounds at about the 44-yard <coughs> line. That's Landon Castle. 43-yard line. They're knocking him out. Was it Castle or Johnson? That was three. one, wasn't it? I'm, I'm thinking it was number three. Peterson, they're saying 11. 11, okay. Yep. Second down and seven. Yeah, they're going to have to run it for 24-yard run. And Charlie Floyd Central uh, deferred the second half, so if they can take it in here, give Betchelay no time to score, and then come out the second half, they can put this one away. Martin's pass is incomplete. Martin's pass is incomplete. Looking out there for Jace Martin. So we're up second down and 10. He's looking back to the sideline for a play. They're going to do some little personnel change here. Peterson will check back into the ball game. 
They'll go with a flex bone look. And we'll hand it to Peterson out of the backfield. No, oh, Jason, I mean, Martin going to keep it. He'll get down inside the 40 first down as that was Max Martin on the carry. 17-yard run by Max Martin. And he'll get down to the 39-yard line. And Bateson Lane has no answer for this running game right now. Now they'll line back up in the straight wishbone. And coming up on the right side, there's a big hole. And still on his feet down inside the 25 is Colt Shelton. Sixteen yard run. Huge chunks on the run now for yes. Floyd Central. And we got a whistle. Timeout, Betsy Lane. Six. Trying to get some substitutions in. Number 15 was trying to get off the field for Betsy Lane. So they were forced to use the timeout to keep from uh, having a penalty two men, men on the field. And that's her last timeout of the first half. But just stay right here with you, Charlie. You'd like to let everyone know that tonight's game is brought to you by some fine sponsors. Gearheart TV, Steve Little for Florida County Jailer, Cofield's Telephone, Brandon Spencer for 95th District State Representative, Attorney John Earl Hutt, Gearheart Security, Zach McCoy for Jailer of Florida County, Aftershock Preparedness and Nature's Pantry Foods, Gearheart Fiber, 59th District State Representative Ashley Tackett Lafferty, Harris Family Pharmacy, John Guir Hunt, Kentucky Farm Bureau, and Appalachian Wireless. And speaking of Attorney John Earl Hunt, at the end of the game, we will have the Attorney John Earl Hunt Intermountain Sports Player of the Game. Yep, got a lot of people vying for that now. So 3.20 left here in the first half. 16-7, Floyd Central trying to add to that lead here as they've got it first and 10 at the 23-yard line. Well, the 24-yard line looks like, Larry. From this angle, I don't know. Well, they said the 23, they've got it at yeah. the scoreboard. Yeah, he's walking back. They set those so far back, now yeah. you can't see them. You stay put them right on the sideline. Wishbone look, and they're going to go over to the left side, and that is... Cheston Johnson on the carry. He's got a first down. Pick up what, 12? Let's see, where did they got him marked at? Got him marked at 13, picked up 10, exactly. Okay. Enough. The viewer wanted to know if Floyd Center was in the Indiana, but no, this is Eastern Kentucky. Right, breaks loose, and we might have a horse collar there. Be down inside the five. Was that uh, 18, Colt Shelton on the carry? It was. Didn't see a flag, so I don't think. I thought I saw one flag. Should have been. Yeah, here we go. Horse collar. Horse collar, yeah. So they look like he's at the four-yard line. They'll move, that should move it down to the two. So first and goal now from the two-yard line. Here's the big package again, the big boy in the backfield. Calling for motion. He gonna hand it off this time and walking into the end zone. Let me get a number. Martin handed it off. I can't see it. 15. 15. Okay. That's Martin. Martin, okay. Yeah. We, we, okay. we call for football. I thought he was waiting to give us a call there for a minute. So 22 to 7 now. Floyd Central on top. Threatening to blow this one open, Charlie. They are. Bates Lane needs to do something here to the final 251 because Floyd Central will have the kickoff yes. starting the second half. There's the big package again for two. 
And this time it was 75. The big boy out no, there. No good. Nope, didn't get there. Okay. Didn't get there. It was number 75, uh, Dalton Martin, but uh, they say no good. It remains 22-7, 251 left first half. This is your Red Mountain Sports Network. The Appalachian Advantage plan is the simpler, better way to get the phone you actually want instead of paying hundreds of dollars up front. Simply pay the taxes up front and a few extra dollars a month and get the phone you really want. It's called the Appalachian Advantage, available at Appalachian Wireless. I'm Zachary McCoy. I'm running for jailer of Floyd County, Kentucky, with over 10 years of experience in correction and a degree in criminal justice. I'm the only qualified candidate for this position. Vote for me, Zachary McCoy, Floyd County Jailer, 2020. 22-7, Floyd Central looking for their first win of the season. Leads Betsy Lane, 251 left here in the first half. Floyd Central will be kicking off to the Bobcats and Charlie B Betsy Lane has uh, had some nice drives but they've got down inside the uh, red zone two times and uh, not able to come away with any points. The penalties have killed them, Larry. Every time they get it, they make a good play, they call it back on the penalty. Well, they've been penalized 10 times for 58 yards. But four of those penalties was down inside the 10 yard right. line. So it's just like half the distance or that yardage could be uh, a whole lot more than that. You're right. Getting ready to kick it away. Peterson gonna, nope, I'm sorry, that's a 30, it's McDonald. And onside's kick and it will not go. Did he touch a Floyd Central player? Did it, he it yeah. touched Floyd Central player about the 48 yard yeah. line. He didn't go the full 10 yards yep. and see where they place it at. Well, well, yep. Yeah. Now they come back over to the 48 and going to mark it there. So Betsy Lane. Didn't understand that play, Charlie. Uh, you've got 250 left. You're up by 15 points, and you're giving Betsy Lane a short field. I'm with you. Twins each way. And looking to throw is Parsons. Rolling out to his right, looking. Throwing downfield, got Robinson. Robinson's got a first down, goes out of bounds at about the 30, 33 yard line, looks like. So first and 10. Betsy Lane, 15 yard pickup. Quick, stop the clock. It was a nice play by Parsons and uh, Robinson. Robinson, all four catches for Betsy Lane tonight, 29 timeout. yards. Timeout, Floyd Central, 22 7 with 242 to play here in the first half. Floyd Central leading this Center Mountain Sports Network. This is Brandon Spencer, Republican candidate for state representative of the 95th District in Floyd and Pike Counties. If we're going to change things in our district, it will take a team working together. The Kentucky House and Senate is now controlled by the Republican Party. I stand with Senator Rand Paul. My opponent stands with far left Charles Booker. With your vote on November the 8th, I will be part of a team that can help the 95th district. Paid for by Brandon Spencer. Back at Betsy Lane, 245, excuse me, 242 left here in the first half. Betsy Lane has it first and 10 from the 33 yard line of Floyd Central. They trail 22 7. And Betsy Lane lined back up now with the twins each way. I think that's Parsons in the shotgun. And Parsons again looking to throw. Has all day going deep and ball incomplete. Second down and 10. McCutcheon, the intended receiver, and McCutcheon actually turned into the defensive back on that yes. one, knocked the ball down because Floyd Central's uh, player had a better shot at it than McCutcheon did. 2.36 left here in the half. 22 to 7. Big, big series here for Betsy Lane because Floyd Central gets the ball to start the second half, Larry. Yes. Back up the line of scrimmage again with twins each way. Parsons in the shotgun. 
Takes a snap again, has time. Now he's being forced to run. Throwing it on the run, and if he got his foot in bounds, incomplete. Incomplete. Let him out of bounds. Again, that was McCutcheon. That'll bring up third down and 10. Tough to throw that when you're on the run. Need a chance to set, get those feet set, don't you? Yes. Carson, just a freshman, though. He's uh, kept his cool so far so here far, tonight. So far, I agree with you. Heck of a basketball player also. Yes. A name that uh, people in eastern Kentucky and all over the state of Kentucky will hear within the next four years, I'm sure. Four wide outs to the right, and we'll throw a little flanker screen up there, and it is... Is it complete and a tackle for a loss or? Yes, and again, Blake Adams, that's two times that they throw that flanker screen and Blake Adams has blown both of them up for a loss. He has. So now to be fourth and about uh, 15 for Betsy Lane. So gonna go for it here on fourth down. This, this spot on the field, minute 55 left in the half. They trail 22 to 7. They've not been able to stop Floyd Central's offense tonight. No. They're going to line up again. Surprising that Floyd Central didn't take a timeout. Yep. And Parsons looking to throw, steps up. And now he's going to have to tuck it and run with it. And he's not going to get back to the original line of scrimmage. He'll turn it over on down. He's going to pick up about four yards, and that's it. <laughs> So first and 10, Floyd Central at the 35-yard line. Floyd Central will have a minute 32 to work with. As far as passing, they're one of three in the passing game, and that went for eight yards. Of course, last time they had the ball, they had uh, several uh, double-digit runs. Yep. Don't, I'm not sure how many timeouts they have left. I think maybe one. Going back, going to an empty backfield look. Martin looking to throw, and now he's going to tuck it and run. And run out of bounds after picking up a first down. Well, that right at the 45, so yep. pick up of 10. Martin's our leading rusher right now, Charlie. He's got 68 yards on five carries. See what they do. You know, they run the ball well, I believe. I just keep it on the ground, but that's... We're going to put the big boy back there at quarterback. In the, in the uh, wildcat look, there's going to be motion coming around. And he's going to give it. That's Martin. The quarterback's got it. Look at the pass. Incomplete. So second down and 10. That's almost a giveaway play on that one. It's obvious that the big guy's not going to run it, you know, if that well, you know, uh, yeah. you're right. small time on the clock. So something's going to happen besides uh, him running. Right. And Betsy Lane had it covered pretty good. Looks like Cousin Pud Cecil watching in. There you go. 22-7, 118 left first half. Floyd Center with the lead. They have the basketball second. Or, that basketball, here I am again. Football, second and 10 on the 45. Got a receiver out there, and he'll get out of bounds after picking up a first down. Is that Jace Martin, number two? Jace Martin. Thirteen yard pickup. See what we got a minute ten left here in the second quarter, twenty-two to seven. Floyd Central. Martin in the shotgun. Twins right, one wide out left. And looking deep, throwing it deep. Man, oh, man. overthrows him just a little bit. Looking for Chase Martin. Landon Howe on the coverage for the Bobcats. Had to stop the clock with 103 left. Second and 10. 
We have trips to the left, one wide out right. And Martin in the shotgun, looking, throws it out wide, got a man. And he'll get down to the 34-yard line, first and 10. That is Brody 25, Buck. yep, Brody Buck. Floyd Central, will they clock it here or will they run a play? 30 seconds, 35 seconds left. And looking, they were going to run an option there and nothing there. Uh, do they have any timeouts left? They must have. Yes, they, they must have one left. One here. That's their last timeout of the half. 22 to 7 with 29 seconds left. Floyd Central with the lead. We'll just stay right here with it. Don't know where we're getting all that static from. 22 to 7, though, the Jaguars leading the Bobcats here. And let's see. Nope. So both teams in the huddle on the sideline trying to. Get everything lined up. Betsy Lane making their way back out onto the field. We're waiting on Floyd Central. So fourth down and four coming up now for Floyd Central. There's the out of the, throwing it out quickly. And a little hook and ladder. And first down and out of bounds goes Blake Adams. And they're going to mark him out at the 27-yard line, pick up a nine. So ball on the 27-yard line. It'll be first and 10 now for Floyd Central. They're looking to throw, throwing toward the end zone, and it is a collision, no call. Well, both, both going for the ball? Yeah. Robinson for Betsy Lane, I'm not sure who it was for Floyd Central, but a huge collision right at the goal line, pass ball was incomplete. And Adams is shaking up pretty good. Let's see. Threw it up toward the middle of the field, and, you know, that's a dangerous pass. So both coaching staff out there checking out. And we got 12 seconds left on the clock. Looks like what we're going to – we're going to take a quick break here, Larry. 22 to 7. Floyd Central will be right back. This is Intermountain Sports Network. I'm Steve Little, candidate for Floyd County Jailer. I've dedicated over 25 years of my life to public service. Now I'm ready to put that experience to work in public office. As jailer, I'll ensure inmates and staff are kept safe. I'll run a clean facility. I'll keep the drugs out, enforce inmate work programs, and use taxpayer money wisely. I would appreciate your vote and support to make a change at the jail. Elect Steve Little, Floyd County Jailer, for a clean, safe, and secure jail. Paid for by Steve Little. The Appalachian Advantage plan is the simpler, better way to get the phone you actually want instead of paying hundreds of dollars up front. Simply pay the taxes up front and a few extra dollars a month and get the phone you really want. It's called the Appalachian Advantage, available at Appalachian Wireless. Float Central, there's going to take it, looking to throw. Martin 
Throwing it toward the end zone, and it is out of the end zone, incomplete. Six seconds left. 22 to 7. Lloyd Sifter trying to add to it, and they'll get to kick off to start the second half. Yes. Six seconds left. They'll have enough for probably one more play yeah. unless we have a penalty because uh, they'll have to throw it into the end zone. They have no timeouts left. They're going to go with the empty backfield look. Twins to the left, one wide out, or twins both ways. Here comes Betsy Lane looking toward the corner. It is touchdown. Pulled down in there by 25. Brody Buck. And a walk-off touchdown. 28-7. Floyd Central will wait for the extra point attempt. But the Floyd Central Jaguars big lead going into the break, Larry. Yes. Buck just went up over the defensive back of Betsy Lane and uh, pulled that one down. Uh, he's one of their uh, top basketball players uh, for right. Floyd Central. So uh, he's got some hops about him and just went high in the air and caught it at its peak. Nothing the receipt or the defender for Betsy Lane could do about it. Looks like Alex Castro schemes to attempt the extra point. Snap is down, kick is up, and it's a line drive, is it? No good. No good. So 28-7, Lloyd Central at the half on the Intermountain Sports Network. I'm Zachary McCoy. I'm running for jailer of Floyd County, Kentucky, with over 10 years' experience in correction and a degree in criminal justice. I'm the only qualified candidate for this position. Vote for me, Zachary McCoy, Floyd County Jailer, 2022. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, social security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Howard Family Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service and drive throughs at both locations at the intersection in Allen and off Route 80 at Eastern. I'm Ashley Tackett-Lafferty, and for the last four years, I've worked hard to deliver millions of dollars in funding for Floyd and Pike counties. I've fought hard as your representative to bring good jobs back to our prison and wheelwright to finally complete the 680 connector between Minnie and Harold, and to four-lane the Mountain Parkway through Prestonsburg. My voting record in Frankfurt proves that you can count on me. Re-elect Ashley Tackett Lafferty. She fights for us. Everything you love about TV and more. Live, recorded, on demand, all in HD. Plus, easily find and watch your favorite shows anywhere on any device great for the entire family and easy to use you plan on being there for her for a long long time for recitals soccer games graduations until she's a grown-up of her own but what if you can't be there? Protect what matters most. Talk to a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent about life insurance. Come push me, Daddy. Talk to Agent John Greer Hunt today at 606-791-2122. Fully wireless sensors mean easy installation without damage from drilling. One app gives you total control over every aspect of your home the ultimate deterrent for porch pirates. Know exactly when you receive a delivery. You need security that is a fully integrated security solution, encrypted end-to-end -end and professionally monitored. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. I'm Steve Little, candidate for Floyd County Jailer. I've dedicated over 25 years of my life to public service. Now I'm ready to put that experience to work in public office. As jailer, I'll ensure inmates and staff are kept safe I'll run a clean facility, I'll keep the drugs out, enforce inmate work programs, and use taxpayer money wisely. 
I would appreciate your vote and support to make a change at the jail. Select Steve Little, Floyd County Jailer, for a clean, safe, and secure jail. Paid for by Steve. Welcome back to Betsy Lane. We're at the half, 28-7, Floyd Central over Betsy Lane. And Floyd Central scoring on the last play of the game on a 27-yard uh, touchdown pass from Martin to Buck. They all get the kickoff to start the second half. Get some numbers figured up here and uh, shortly, let's uh, see, we got uh, for Betsy Lane, Music had 10 carries for 48 yards. And we're gonna go to the PA announcer for a special presentation here at the half. Lady Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, if you will direct your attention to midfield, we'll be honoring Betcha Lane High School student, Hunter Hammond, who lost his life on July 24th of this year. Hunter Blake Hammond, age 17 of Allen, Kentucky, passed away Sunday, July the 24th at the Cincinnati Children's Hospital. He was born there on May 13th, 2005, the miracle baby son of Breck and Heather Wallen Hammond, and brother of Byron, Kevin, and Ethan. Because of congenital health issues, doctors did not expect Hunter to live, but he proved them wrong over and over again. He enjoyed a full and joyful life, winning the hearts of everyone who knew him, regardless of age or circumstance. He was kind, thoughtful, and a pleasure to be around. He had awesome dance moves, and won friendly competitions. Hunter may not have been able to attend his junior and senior proms, but he certainly had the experience of a lifetime when he was crowned king of his eighth grade prom. Hunter loved to break all the trach rules by swimming, boating on the lake, and especially loved riding roller coasters at Dollywood. He was so proud of getting his driver's license and showing off his new FJ Cruiser. He was an active member of Calvary Baptist Church at Betsy Lane and would have currently been a senior here at Betsy Lane High School. The family is honored to accept this presentation in memory of Hunter. We can only imagine the smile in his face as he looks down upon us all. A special thanks to each teacher, parent, caregiver, and student who treated Hunter as a friend and especially those mother hens and protectors who guarded and watched over him every day at school. Hunter may not have necessarily been a football person, but he certainly was a people person and touched so many lives along the way. As they say, the hill is closer to heaven. So I guess we're all just a little closer to him right now. Congratulations to all the seniors here tonight Enjoy those last few months on the hill and make decisions based on what is best for your future. Take a little piece of Hunter's drive and determination along the way with you every day. Now let's get back to the ball game and go Big Blue. Great presentation. Honoring Hunter Hammond. And as the PA announcer said, back to the game. We'll go over some stats here at the half. Uh, first four, Betsy Lane. Music carried the ball 10 times, 48 yards. Had the only touchdown for the Bobcats in the first half. Robinson, seven carries, 44 yards. McCutcheon, four carries, 23 yards. And Parsons, one carry for four yards. In the passing game, Parsons was five of nine for 24 yards, had the one interception, the only turnover of the game. Robinson had all five of those catches for the 24 yards. So total for Betsy Lane in the first half for his yardage, they had 22 runs for 119 yards, one touchdown. Five of nine, 24 yards in the passing game, one interception, so total 31 plays, 143 yards, one touchdown, and one interception for the Bobcats. Also, Betsy Lane had 10 penalties in the first half, and that was a total of 58 yards for Floyd Central. 
Adams, seven carries for 46 yards. Colt Shelton, five carries for 54 yards and one touchdown. Peterson had three carries for 27 yards. Martin, six carries, 66 yards and one touchdown. Johnson carried it two times for five yards and Thacker, one carry for three yards and that was a touchdown. In the passing game, Martin was five of 11, 65 yards and one touchdown. Receiving wise, uh, Chase Martin, two catches, 21 yards. Brody Buck, three catches, 44 yards and a touchdown. And all of Buck's catches was in that final drive, scoring drive uh, when Floyd Central scored on the last play of the first half. So total for Floyd Central, 24 rushes, 201 yards, three touchdowns, five of 11, 65 yards, and a touchdown in the air. So 35 plays, 266 yards, four touchdowns for Floyd Central. They were penalized three times for 35 yards and had no turnovers, Charlie. You know, Floyd Central came out strong. Looked like it was going to be a shootout in Betsy Lane just – after that opening drive, they couldn't really get anything going. Had a couple of nice drives, got down inside the red zone and uh, stalled out, uh, couldn't get it into the end zone. Penalties hurt them uh, really bad on, on both yeah. sides, offensive and def yes. defensive side. Uh, they helped uh, Floyd Central with some penalties down inside the red zone themselves on the defensive side. And then on the other end in the red zone, when they were in red, red zone, they had some penalties hurt them on the offensive side. Floyd, County, Floyd Central will get it to start the second half. We'll take a break. We'll be back with more on the Intermountain Sports Network. Fully wireless sensors mean easy installation without damage from drilling. One app gives you total control over every aspect of your home. The ultimate deterrent for porch pirates. Know exactly when you receive a delivery. You need security that is a fully integrated security solution. Encrypted end-to-end -end and professionally monitored. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. Looking for a new pharmacy? Howard Family Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service and convenient drive throughs at both locations. Hello, this is Brandon Spencer, Republican candidate for state representative of the 95th District in Floyd and Pike Counties. If we're going to change things in our district, it will take a team working together. The Kentucky House and Senate is now controlled by the Republican Party. I stand with Senator Rand Paul. My opponent stands with far left Charles Booker. With your vote on November the 8th, I will be part of a team that can help the 95th District. Paid for by Brandon Spencer. The Appalachian Advantage plan is the simpler, better way to get the phone you actually want instead of paying hundreds of dollars up front. Simply pay the taxes up front and a few extra dollars a month and get the phone you really want. It's called the Appalachian Advantage, available at Appalachian Wireless. With Gearheart Fiber coming soon to the city of Pikeville, you can work, play, chat, explore at the speed of light. Fiber technology delivers massive data to your home through strands of glass. Perfect for streaming 4K video. Websites load super fast and play games like never before, no matter how many devices are connected. Experience Gearheart Fiber, coming soon to the city of Pikeville. Click GearheartFiber.com to find out more. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, social security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Looking for a new pharmacy? 
Howard Family Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service and convenient drive throughs at both locations. Fully wireless sensors mean easy installation without damage from drilling. One app gives you total control over every aspect of your home. The ultimate deterrent for porch pirates. Know exactly when you receive a delivery. You need security that is a fully integrated security solution. Encrypted end-to-end -end and professionally monitored. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. Are you tired of the same old cell phone? Want a new phone, but really don't want to pay the hundreds of dollars up front for it? Appalachian Wireless has a deal for you. Get the phone you actually want instead of settling for a cheaper phone with the Appalachian Advantage plan. Instead of paying $600 or more for the best phone, simply pay the taxes up front and then a few bucks a month more on your monthly bill. Stop by your local Appalachian Wireless store or dealer today for more information. It's the better, simpler way to pay. And it's called the Appalachian Advantage because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. I'm Zachary McCoy. I'm running for jailer in Floyd County, Kentucky, with over 10 years' experience in correction and a degree in criminal justice. I'm the only qualified candidate for this position. Vote for me, Zachary McCoy, Floyd County Jailer, 2022. If you love all kinds of TV, you'll love Gearheart TV. It's the great new streaming video app from Gearheart Broadband for your smart TV, streaming video player, or mobile device. Gearheart TV offers lots of great channels you love to watch live, on the go, or later with cloud DVR. Gearheart TV, powered by Gearheart Broadband. Click mygtv.com to sign up. You plan on being there for her for a long, long time. For recitals, soccer games, graduations, until she's a grown-up of her own. But what if you can't be there? Protect what matters most. Talk to a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent about life insurance. Come push me, Daddy. Talk to Agent John Greer Hunt today at 606-791-2122. Ashley Tackett Lafferty's record in Frankfurt is proof that we can count on her to defend traditional mountain values in working families. She votes to protect life strengthen education, support first responders, and protect our Second Amendment. That's why she's been endorsed by teachers, coal miners, police officers, and the NRA. Ashley Tackett Lafferty is our trusted voice in the Kentucky House. Re-elect Ashley Tackett Lafferty. She fights for us. Welcome back to Betsy Lane. 28-7 here at half. Floyd Center with a big first half, Larry. Just the running game was just hard to do anything with for Betsy Lane. Over 200 yards on the ground for uh, Floyd Central. And uh, see, they had uh, six different players carrying the uh, football. Of course, uh, Thacker uh, had the big man, uh, big lineman they put in the backfield, had the three yards touchdown run and uh, but he had also had uh, two point he, well he had one two point conversion then he went into quarterback position and handed off uh, to a running back that went in for a two point conversion so he was involved uh, in the uh, extra points uh, but uh, Betsy Lane just no answer right now as he got later in the first half uh, deep into the second quarter uh, Floyd Central uh, was his 8, 9, 10, 12 yards uh, at a uh, carry, you know, so uh, Betsy Lane's going to have to uh, make some adjustments at half, and the worst part about it is Floyd Central scored on the last play of the first half, and they're going to receive the kickoff here in the second half as they won the toss and deferred to the second half. Yeah, I mean, that was, that was a big move for them as they get a chance to put up at least what Right now, they put up 28 unanswered, Larry. Yes. So, yes. you know, they could be 35 unanswered big score coming out of the halftime. You know, Betsy Lane's going to make some changes on their defense, and really they're going to have to just get the get, cut the penalties out. I mean, the penalties will kill them. Well, penalties, you're right, killed them. Ten uh, penalties. And uh, two of those two-point conversions that Floyd Central scored, Charlie, if they was lined up to kick the extra point, and Betsy Lane jumped off sides, and by doing so, that moves the ball to the one-and-a-half-yard line, so they brought their offense back on the field and scored two-point conversion. So 
They tried to kick a game, missed uh, an extra point, so you don't know what would, uh, uh, you know, uh, they might have three or four points less, a little bit closer for Betsy Lane to be uh, if they didn't have those penalties to give them a chance for that two-point conversion. You know, that's true. It's, uh, you know, just I, I don't know what to say. You know, they, they, they took the opening drive, moved it down the field, and they've not been the same since on the offensive side. And, and if you remember, Charlie, on that first drive, Betsy Lane really incorporated the short passing game into that drive really well. And uh, they uh, ran a couple of uh, end rounds uh, or jet sweeps, they call them nowadays, but uh, and then uh, run up the middle to throw a couple little uh, short passes, little screen passes. And since that, they've gotten away from that unless they get behind the chains and uh, having to try to make up for that extra yardage. And that doesn't really, you know, you, you got to stay ahead of the chains is what you need to do. It makes the game a whole lot easier to play. As they say, you got a whole lot more plays in the playbook from that section of the field. Yes. Lloyd Central lined up and ready to go. Betsy Lane, final instructions over on the sideline. Yes. Clock keeper's got it set at 12. We're ready for the kickoff here at the second half. Last game of the regular season here in Kentucky in the high school football. Playoff starts next week. Floyd Central will be at home. Uh, they're, they're not uh, in the playoffs. They didn't make the playoffs, I don't think. Uh, they was 25 teams in that district. I think so. Yeah, and Betsy Lane will travel to Paris to take on uh, Paris. Uh, is that the... I don't know what the Greyhounds? Yes, they are the Greyhounds. I think so. Onside kick by Betsy Lane. Did he? Nope, he didn't make it. Boy, I, I, thought, you, the, I thought he was about a foot short. That's a good call. Half a yard short. And uh, Floyd Central's going to get it at the 49. And... Betsy Lane players is looking in disbelief. The coach is looking in disbelief. We're looking right down the 50-yard yep, line, and, and it looked to be a good call. It looked to be a good call. I, you know, he was, I like I say, it, it was close. But I, but I think he was on. He's waving the flag off. Uh, it's just uh, it's illegal touching. Wasn't no flag to it. It's just illegal touching by the kicking team. Right. So Floyd Central will have it from Betsy Lane's 49-yard line to start. I mean, it was a good thought, and if he'd have been one more step, he'd have had it. Yes. Because he was going to get it. Well, Floyd Central's player was coming up, and I think that influenced him to reach down the ground Maybe. a little early. There's... Okay, I don't know what happened there. I don't even know who blew the whistle. I don't either. The white hat does it either. <laughs> He's looking around, seeing what, what's the deal. Three seconds run off the clock. Yep. So it'll be first and ten now from the 49 again. Floyd Center, Floyd Central in the bone. And Martin gonna run it up. They ain't gonna lose at least a yard. Maybe two. Gonna lose two back to the 49 of Floyd Central. No, I think we're going to put it right at midfield. Oh, okay. Lost one then. Yep, so second down and 11. Back to the wishbone. And second man through. And he's going to get back to the line of scrimmage. That's going to be it. And I believe that's Colton Shelton. That's who it was. Round two, bring up third and 10 for so third down and 10 now for Floyd Central. Floyd Central starting this drive like Betsy Lane started their first two. Right. First play of the drive, uh, had a loss on one and a penalty on the other and got behind the chains to start with. Now we're going to go with that empty backfield look out of what they call the flex bone. And back throw Martin. And Martin under pressure gets it off to Jace Martin. And the first down and more. Martin breaks the tackle and throws the football, but I think he fell right into the hands of a Floyd Central player. Number five for Floyd Central. Adams following the play up, picks it up out of the air. What a play. Ball, that ball couldn't have fell in his arms any better. No, no. And they're going to place it at the 19-yard line. So pick up 
of 30. So Floyd Central again in the red zone. Empty backfield out of the flex bone again. And trying to run it wide. Peterson, they're trying to get him out to the sideline. And Betsy Lane blew that one up. And that was a nice play by number five, Betsy Lane, Jackson Burchett, coming up from the safety spot and forcing the four-yard loss, it looks like. So second down, 14. And who was running that for Floyd Central? Uh, that was Peterson. Peterson, okay. Back up the line of scrimmage, out of the bone this time. Thought he went out of bounds, clocked running. And again, they blow it up. Gain of a couple. Well, oh, maybe no gain. No gain? Yep. Shelton, the ball carrier. Go, Chester. Go, Johnson. Johnson, sorry, yes, Chester Johnson. So third and 14. Up third and 14 for Floyd Central. Well, so far in the on this drive, Betsy Lane defense just pinning their ears back and just uh, coming. Yeah, they are for the uh, football. Now they got the big boy back in it, quarterback, and we got a flag. Sideline warning, Betsy Lane. This one will be a five-yard penalty, I think, Charlie. Well, five-yard penalty. Yeah. Five yard penalty. The first five. one is a warning. The second one is a five-yard penalty. And if it happens again, Ten it will yard. be an unsportsmanlike on the coach. Eleven penalties for Betsy Lane, 63 yards, and they had – had Floyd Central third and uh, 14 and give them five yards. You're right. Floyd Central will go trips to the left. Empty backfield for Martin. Long time to get this play going. Martin takes a snap, rolling out to his left. Rolling, rolling, being chased, and throws it toward the end zone, out of bounds. Flag, and that may be a late hit on Betsy Lane. Yes. Comes on the quarterback. And it's going to be a first down, Floyd Central. Frustration setting in a little bit now on Betsy Lane, I think, Charlie. I think you're right. And he'll be, well, has he? Be half the distance. I mean, yeah, I'm waiting for him. He's, okay. Personal foul against the Bobcats. Unsportsmanlike and unsportsmanlike. as well. And an ejection. Don't know who it was that got ejected. I think it was one of the players off the sideline. So that'll make it first and goal from the five now, Larry. So Betsy Lane just uh, there's the wishbone formation. And Sheston Johnson in for the touchdown. And Four yards out. Yep. Johnson. 34-7. Floyd Central running away with it a little bit now, Larry. With 8.54 to go here in the third quarter. And Charlie, that's four different players with a rushing touchdown for Floyd Central. And again... Bates and Lane helps them on the field. Oh yeah, penalties. Yeah, they had, they were they were had them, they were stopping them there. Looked like we were gonna have them on fourth and long, and then. Floyd, 
Back to, we're going to go back to the jumbo package. And the big boy going to carry it in for the two-point conversion. And again, that's Bryce Thacker. So 36-7, Floyd Cedric with 8.54 to play here in the third. This is Intermountain Sports Network. Everything you love about TV and more. Live, recorded, on demand, all in HD. Plus, easily find and watch your favorite shows. Anywhere, on any device. Great for the entire family and easy to use. I'm Steve Little, candidate for Floyd County Jailer. I've dedicated over 25 years of my life to public service. Now I'm ready to put that experience to work in public office. As jailer, I'll ensure inmates and staff are kept safe. I'll run a clean facility. I'll keep the drugs out, enforce inmate work programs, and use taxpayer money wisely. I would appreciate your vote and support to make a change at the jail. Elect Steve Little, Floyd County Jailer, for a clean, safe, and secure jail. Paid for by Steve Little. 854 third quarter, 36-7 as Floyd Central increases their lead with a four-yard touchdown run by Johnson. Two-point conversion good for Thacker, and they're set to kick off, Charlie. See what they do. And it'll be a line drive, and Robinson will scoop it up at the 15, trying to get to the outside, makes a nice cut. Gets, tries to turn that corner, gets around the corner, and runs over the referee, I believe. Did he not collide with an official? He was running over everybody, I think. Well, yeah. To the 40-yard line. Nice return, Brady Robinson. So first and 10 for the Bobcats. See if they can get their offense on track here to start the second half. Well, if they're going to get back in this, and they got to score quickly and get their defense yes. on the uh, started here in the second half also. Parsons wanting to throw, got a man down. And he just fell and down. McCutcheon, well, the pass was behind him. Yeah. McCutcheon was breaking in open, but... You had a safety coming up, and McCutcheon was behind the uh, uh, defensive back in front, and Parsons looked like he thought he was just going to settle down, and McCutcheon, and McCutcheon just kept running. If he just settles down in between those two defenders, that's an easy completion. Nice run coming back to the outside, and got, he breaks another tackle down inside the five. Does he make it? I can't see that far. Don't know. I can't see. I wait. I'm watching for the official signal. He did not. Touchdown. They said no. Oh, first down. First He's down. down at about the five yard line. Okay. First and goal. 55 yard run by music. Yep. So let's see. They'll line up out of the shotgun. And they're going to hand it on the end around. McCutcheon. And he is in. Touchdown, Betsy Lane. Andrew McCutcheon gets the touchdown. You said they had to score quickly. That was pretty quick, Larry. Uh, two plays. 8 17 to play here in this third quarter. 36 13 now. I think they got to go for two here. Well, it's only 11 carries for music now. He's got 103 yards. He's going to have to see the ball a little more. Yeah, I would. Yep. You got a man come in at 1,600 yards on the season, and he only gets 10 touches in the first half. Parsons looking to throw, and, and incomplete. Had it and dropped it. So 36-13, Lloyd Central with 8.17 to play here in the third on the Intermountain Sports Network. You plan on being there for her for a long, long time. For recitals, soccer games, graduations, until she's a grown-up of her own. But what if you can't be there? Protect what matters most. Talk to a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent about life insurance. Come push me, Daddy. 
Talk to Agent John Greer Hunt today at 606-791-2122. Ashley Tackett Lafferty's record in Frankfurt is proof that we can count on her to defend traditional mountain values in working families. She votes to protect life, strengthen education, support first responders, and protect our Second Amendment. That's why she's been endorsed by teachers, coal miners, police officers, and the NRA. Ashley Tackett Lafferty is our trusted voice in the Kentucky House. Re-elect Ashley Tackett Lafferty. She fights for us. 8-17 left third quarter. Betsy Lane puts six on the board as McCutcheon takes it in from five yards out following a 55-yard run by Music. Extra or a two-point conversion try, no good. 36-13, bet the lane over Floyd Central and they're getting ready to kick off, Charlie. Music and onside's kick and Floyd Central falls on it at 48 or 49. I mean, I get it. Betsy Lane's got to do the onside's kick. Now the defense, though, has got to show up. They yes. want to say, want to get a chance to get back in this. Well, Floyd Central shot herself in the foot two or three times on that last drive, and Betsy Lane bailed them out with a penalty. You're right. 13 penalties for the Bobcats tonight. 76 yards, but that's a little misleading because six of those penalties has been inside the red zone. Yes. That should, well, let's see. And they're gonna hand off on the far side. He's gonna get, that Peterson's gonna get about nine, looks like. Now, is it like college you break the huddle, you can't substitute? No, okay. Now, if you break the huddle with too many men and one runs off the field, it's a penalty. But if you break it with, evidently, they broke with 10 and then one ran yeah, on, right. so that's fine. I, that's why I was. Back to the bone. Sec, second down and one. And there's a big hole in another first down. And that's Coach Shelton. Yeah. So first and 10 now for Floyd Central. Pick up a four. Seven carries, 59 yards, and a touchdown for Shelton. And Floyd Central will be able to run the ball all, all, all evening. Yes. Well, they had, they had over 200 yards at the half. And there's sick man through. Let's see. That's Peterson in a flag. That was Johnson, number three. Yep. Was that? I thought it was 11. Okay. No, number three. Then the penalty came in. And it's going to go against Betsy Lane. And Sportsman Light. That's 15 yards. He had a five-yard run and a 15-yard penalty. Yep. Yep. Floyd Central again. That puts him in the red zone at the 20-yard line. Or 19, actually. 91 yards penalties for Bates Lane. 14 penalties. Floyd Central with three. Back to the wishbone. And they're gonna hand it off on the That's Johnson, Johnson again. Yep. And he'll get a gain of about two, second down and eight. Clock ticking away down to seven minutes to play here in the third quarter. Yeah, Floyd Central, no hurry. Colt Shelton checking into the ball game. And there is a jet sweep and Peterson picks up about six, maybe seven. Nope, maybe not. They're gonna mark him. I thought he got a little. Mark him at the 14, pick up a three, it looks like. 
So third and about four looks like. Yes. So Floyd Central back in the wishbone. And handoff on the far. Johnson be a touchdown. In. Yep. Justin Johnson takes it in from 14 yards out. Makes it 42 to 13. And the, right now the Jaguars not, not to be denied. You're exactly right. And that is the most points scored this season by Floyd Central. They had 34 against Perry County Central in a loss. Second game of the season. And a two-point conversion. And here comes the big boy again. And there he goes. And a flag. That one may not. We'll see where the call is going to be. Let's see. We're taking our time, officials. Trying to decide what we're going to call here. Okay, the point is good. Chop block on the defense. They'll be assist on the kickoff, I'm assuming. Yeah. 44-13, Floyd Central with 6-10 to play here in the third. This is Intermountain Sports Network. Fully wireless sensors mean easy installation without damage from drilling. One app gives you total control over every aspect of your home the ultimate deterrent for porch pirates. Know exactly when you receive a delivery. You need security that is a fully integrated security solution, encrypted end-to-end -end and professionally monitored. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. If you love all kinds of TV, you'll love Gearheart TV. It's the great new streaming video app from Gearheart Broadband for your smart TV, streaming video player, or mobile device. Gearheart TV offers lots of great channels you love to watch live, on the go, or later with cloud DVR. Gearheart TV, powered by Gearheart Broadband. Click mygtv.com to sign up. 6-10 left third quarter. Floyd Central extends their lead to 31. It's 44-13 after a 14-yard touchdown run by Johnson. Thacker with the two-point conversion. On the two-point conversion, Betsy Lane was called for a defensive chop block. Their 15th penalty of the night. So Floyd Central will be kicking it off from the Betsy Lane 45. He's taken by one of the up men at the 15, and he'll get it out to the 30, 29 yard line there. Andrew McCutcheon. Look to see, uh, just got a message. It's uh, Philip Haywood injured in the uh, game with Johnson Central tonight. Don't know what's going on. See what I can, see if I can find anything out for us here. That sideline is a dangerous position sometimes. I've uh, run the chains before, and if those players coming full bore at you, it's yep. hard to get out of the way sometimes. There's that little uh, flip reverse, and had worked all night. He's not going to this time. It's going to work for a four-yard loss. That was Robinson. Robinson, eight carries, 40 yards now. Back to throw. And going deep, trying and throws it out of bounds. In, incomplete. Parsons now five of 10, 24 yards, had the interception. Second down and 14 coming up again now for Betsy Lane. Well, it should be third down, shouldn't it? 
should be. Yep. So it'll be third and 14. They got third on the box on the sideline. So empty backfield look. Parsons, twins each way, has time. Throws it out too tall. Incomplete. They'll have to punt it away here. Pass intended for Mitchell Castle. Mitch Lane will, well, it looks like they're going to go for it, Charlie. You're down wow. 31 to 518 left in the third quarter. Why not? Even though the ball yeah. is on your own 25 yard line. Twins each way. Parsons in the shotgun. And he's going deep. And it is a flag on the play. play. Yep. So that's, uh, that's one way to get it back. So uh, Philip Haywood was hit by a player on the sideline. Don't know what extent the injuries are out there. Our uh, thoughts and prayers are going out to Coach Haywood. Yes. Pass interference, defense. Is that first down? Yep, automatic first down. That's the fourth penalty for Floyd Central for 50 yards. Yep. Wins the left, one wide out right. Parsons, and they're going to give it to McCutcheon. They're going around the out to Jet Sweep. McCutcheon down the sideline, gets knocked out of bounds at the 41. So first down. 18-yard run by McCutcheon. And it'll be first and 10 for the... Uh, Bobcats at the 41. <laughs> so they'll line up again, twins each way. They're fake the jet sweep, will hand it back up the middle and not much there, about a yard. Was that music on the carry? I think it was. I'm not uh, sure about the jersey number to see him get up off the bottom of the pile. And that's who it was. Okay. 104 yards on 12 carries for music. Had the big 55 yard run earlier in the quarter. Twins each way again. And Parsons back has back the throw. He's going deep again. And that one is caught. What a catch. Robinson. Robinson, first and goal, and Wait. a flag. And maybe pass it, no, yep. Is it flag or is that, yes, flag. I thought it was yellow shoes there for a minute. That'll probably pass the interference, which they will decline, I would imagine. Yeah. Pass interference against Boyd Central. That penalty is declined because the play results in another Bobcat first down. And that's a 32-yard pass and catch. Yeah. Young uh, freshman stepping up right now, isn't he? Yes, and we've saw, we've seen Robinson uh, have some catches like that last year. Yes, he's a pretty acrobatic guy. So first and goal from the ten. He's well, got he's got all the catches right now well, for uh, Betsy Lane. Six. Looks, looks like first six. and goal from the eight. I eight, think yeah. it is. Yes. And McCutcheon. Uh, can't get there this time. Gets about a yard, maybe. Are they going to say no gain? Is it what they're going to say? I think that's what it is. Well, they're not out there. Going to put him at the gain of yard. Looks like going to put him at the seven. Second and goal from the seven. 
Parsons going to hand it off. Music. And let's see. Music down to the forward, I think. Looks like, yep. So third and goal at the four. And they come back up the line of scrimmage. In the shotgun is Parsons. He's throwing it toward the end zone, incomplete. Parsons pass is incomplete. Good defensive position that time yes. by the defense back as uh, he stepped in front of Robinson and actually cut his route off, but he's entitled for that uh, football also. Yes, he is. You're right. And they'll come back up the line of scrimmage again. Fourth down and goal from the four. Parsons in the shotgun. And Parsons going to carry it himself. Did he get in? Touchdown. Four yard. Quarterback draw gets the Bobcats back on the board, making it 44 to 19 with a minute 46 to go in the third. Betsy Lane was able to score here in this third quarter, just not been able to stop Floyd Central. Yep, you're right. You know, when you're down 21, you can't match uh, yep. uh, touchdowns. Yeah, you got to have some uh, defense. Got to have some stops. You're exactly Carson's right. Parsons rolling out, throwing to the corner, and it is no good. No good. So 44-19, Floyd Central, many 46 to go here in the third quarter. This is the Intermountain Sports Net Deck. Let's go, Brandon. I'm Brandon Spencer, candidate for state representative of the 95th District in Floyd and Pike Counties. Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. The Republicans <laughs> seem to support one fella, some guy named Brandon. He's having a really good year, and I'm kind of happy for him. You can show your support by going to Let's Go Brandon, SR95.com. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, Social Security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. 146 left third quarter is Betsy Lane. Add six to their total. It's 44-19 now. Floyd Central as Parsons goes in on a quarterback draw from four yards out. Two-point conversion, no good. They're set to kick off. And again, the onside kick. Boy, took a nice bounce. I think he got it. Oh, Robson got that one. Brady Robinson skied high up to get that one, and so Betsy Lane will have it on the 46-yard line of Floyd Central. That was perfect. Yes. Onside kick had the high bouncer just as it got to the 10-yard mark, and Robinson was able to, uh, of course, you know, we've seen him on the basketball court. Oh, yeah, he he, he's a up. high riser. He can get up. And no he he went that. up high and just snatched it out of the air. So ball at the 46-yard line, short field for the Bobcats if they can do something with it here. A minute 46 to go in the third. And Floyd Central is wanting to timeout as Coach Hager walks over and said, I want a timeout. 44-19, Betsy Lane, a minute, I mean, Floyd Central over Betsy Lane, a minute 46 to go in the third quarter on the Intermountain Sports Network. Looking for a new pharmacy? Howard Family Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service and convenient drive-throughs at both locations. 
I'm Zachary McCoy. I'm running for jailer of Floyd County, Kentucky, with over 10 years of experience in correction and a degree in criminal justice. I'm the only qualified candidate for this position. Vote for me, Zachary McCoy, Floyd County Jailer, 2020. And we're back here at Betsy Lane as we've got 146 third quarter. Betsy Lane scores on a four yard touchdown run by Parsons. And they go for an onside kick and got a beautiful high bounce just as it was getting at the 10-yard mark. Goes high in the air, and Brady Robson skies up for Betsy Lane, snatches out of the air, and the Bobcats will have it first and 10 on the Floyd Center 46-yard line, Charlie, and that forced Coach Hager for a timeout. Well, you know, got that big lead. <laughs> but Betsy Lane can cut into it a little bit here. Yes. In the shotgun, Parsons looking to throw. And he's going deep, and it's a throw up. That's going to be offensive pass interference, maybe, Larry. It is, and, and a good thing, because Floyd Central would have had the interception on that one. I mean, you know, I don't think there's any doubt about that one. Right. Looks like Robertson went up and just pulled him down. The and again, Betsy Lane shoots herself in the foot on the first play of a, uh, of a drive. So to make it first and 25, 16 penalties flagged against Betsy Lane, 121 yards. So first and 25 now coming up for Betsy Lane. Moves it all the way back to the 39, so really just uh, eliminates the uh, onside kick recovery. Yes. And music. Oh, no, fake throwing it deep again. And Robinson catches it and goes out of bounds. First down at the 16-yard line. 40-yard. Proud pop a moment right there. 40-yard yeah. reception for Robinson. And that was uh, music with the throw yeah. on that one. And now they'll go into motion. And going to hand it around to music, trying to get to the outside. Music get a couple and go out of bounds. I think he went out of bounds. Nope, yeah. they haven't stopped the clock. Nope. Looks like he's going to give him. It's like about four Three. on it. Four? Okay. Well, they had it marked on the 13 to mark it on the nine, so. Yeah. No, they marked. They saw on the 14s where it's marked at. Oh, it's good with the 14. That's right. Yeah. Looks like gain of three, second down and seven. Parsons looking to throw again. And rolling out, Parsons going to have some room. He can tuck it and run, throw it to the end zone. I can't see it. So the pass is complete to Howe, and it is a touchdown. Landon, Landon Howe. Howe. So 44-25 now, 38 seconds left in the third. As Betsy Lane making a little bit of a run here, Larry. Yes, they are. They're making some noise, Charlie. And they'll come back up the line of scrimmage. Going for two. Parsons in the shotgun. Music back there with him. And Parsons rolling out one. To, I guess he's going to run. Did he get in? Pitch will say no. So 44 25. Floyd Central, 31 seconds left here in the third. We'll be right back on the Intermountain Sports Network. Hard fiber coming soon to the city of Pikeville. You can work, play, chat, explore at the speed of light. Fiber technology delivers massive data to your home through strands of glass. Perfect for streaming 4K video. Websites load super fast and play games like never before, no matter how many devices are connected. 
experience Gearheart Fiber. Coming soon to the city of Pikeville. Click GearheartFiber.com to find out more. You plan on being there for her for a long, long time. For recitals. Soccer games. Graduations. Until she's a grown-up of her own. But what if you can't be there? Protect what matters most. Talk to a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent about life insurance. Come push me, Daddy. Talk to agent John Greer Hunt today at 606-791-2122. 31 seconds left, third quarter. Betsy Lane has narrowed the margin to 19, 44-25. On a 13-yard pass to Howe, and here's an onside kick again, and it's still on the ground, and got a whistle had a whistle. Got a false start on the Bobcats. False start, that would be Offside, wouldn't it? Well, yeah. Well, he, he this. Well, it could be an illegal formation because yeah. you can only have so, so many, many men on, on, one side, right? on each side of the ball. Seventeen penalties now for Larry. Betsy Lane. If it were me, I'd pooch kick it over here toward on this forty-yard line. Toward the, toward the 40 there, if it was me. Yep. Ain't nobody there, are they? Nope. But they're setting up probably another onside. And they, he, they're moving the men this way because they was thinking. And that was good thought, but yep. he kicked out of bounds. Yep. The kicker give that one away, Charlie, because yeah. they was set up on the uh, left side. That's where he'd been going. And when he come up to place the ball on the tee, he looked over to the right side uh, of uh, Floyd Central. And they shifted a couple men over his way. Of course, it wouldn't have mattered because the kick went out of bounds anyway. Right. You're right. He didn't. And it went out of bounds on the 46-yard line. So Floyd Central will have it first and 10 on the 46. It's been a while since they've had the ball. So yep. with uh, Betsy Lane having two scoring drives and the offense being on the bench, while well, it might have cooled them down a little bit. I would say I would show nothing but the wishbones. It was me right here, but that's. Martin. Takes it and hands it off to Peterson. Peterson will get about almost five yards, no, four yards. And Betsy Lane calls a timeout. Second down and six. Betsy Lane with a timeout. We'll take another break. 23 seconds left here in the third. 44 25, Floyd Central. This is Intermountain Sports Network. If you love all kinds of TV, You'll love Gearheart TV. It's the great new streaming video app from Gearheart Broadband for your smart TV, streaming video player, or mobile device. Gearheart TV offers lots of great channels you love to watch live, on the go, or later with cloud DVR. Gearheart TV, powered by Gearheart Broadband. Click mygtv.com to sign up. 23 seconds left, third quarter, 44-25. Floyd Central over Betsy Lane, and Floyd Central will have it second and six from midfield when we get back to action. And Charlie Betsy Lane has put up 18 points here in the quarter, three touchdowns, but Floyd Central has countered them with two of their own. Yes. Back this time they got the flex bone look and handed around on the end of round and he's going to get Shelton bought Colt Shelton on the carry It'll be third and one the third and a little, well, third and two we'll call it. And that's the end of the third quarter, 44-25 Floyd Central. This is the Intermountain Sports Network. 
these unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, social security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Are you tired of the same old cell phone? Want a new phone, but really don't want to pay the hundreds of dollars up front for it? Appalachian Wireless has a deal for you. Get the phone you actually want instead of settling for a cheaper phone with the Appalachian Advantage plan. Instead of paying $600 or more for the best phone, simply pay the taxes up front and then a few bucks a month more on your monthly bill. Stop by your local Appalachian Wireless store or dealer today for more information. It's the better, simpler way to pay. And it's called the Appalachian Advantage because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Back here on the hill at Betsy Lane, ready for fourth quarter action, 44-25, Floyd Central with the lead. They have it third and two from the Betsy Lane 46-yard line. And they're going to go to the wishbone. And here they come. And first down. Needed two, got three. Yep. And again, that was Justin Johnson. Eight carries for Johnson, 32 yards, two touchdowns. Back. And Floyd Central in no hurry now. We have fished off the clock yeah, for some, some reason. reason. I don't know why. Now they start. Floyd Central. In the wishbone. Looking to the sideline for the coach's signal to start to play. And big run. First down, I believe, Larry, or close to it. Right at the yard marker. That's Peterson. That's going to be. Second down and less than a yard. Give him nine on it. Eight carries, 48 yards for Peterson. About five men for Floyd Central with 32 or better yards. I mean, it's been a balanced attack. Yes, it has. We got a timeout, Floyd Central. 44 25. Floyd Central leading with 10 44 to play here in the game on the Intermountain Sports Network. You plan on being there for her for a long, long time. For recitals, soccer games, graduations, until she's a grown up of her own. But what if you can't be there? Protect what matters most. Talk to a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent about life insurance. Come push me, Daddy. Talk to Agent John Greer Hunt today at 606-791-2122. 1044 left in the ball game. 44-25 Freud Central. They have it second and nine. Well, they, they've got it to be second, second one. one yeah. They've got it in the second nine on the scoreboard, but it's a second one on Betts Lane 34-yard line. They lead 44-25. Yeah, they do. They, you know, got things uh, under control here. Looks like, Larry, if they can keep moving the football, especially. Yes. Charlie, we've got a decision to make yep. here shortly. Uh, we've got uh, the attorney, John Earl Hunt, Intermountain Sports Player of the Game. Uh... Got several candidates. Uh, Martin for Floyd Central has got 65 yards rushing and a touchdown. Got 95 yards passing and a touchdown. Right. Uh, you got Johnson's got two touchdowns, uh, 32 yards. Uh, they, they've had four players to score touchdowns on the ground. Yep. And, and boy, boy, about snuck one out of there that time. Yes. That was Shelton, and he got a first down down at the 
26 yard line. A little slow getting up. Uh, he slipped out, nobody saw him for a second. And then the Betsy Lane defender, uh, defender jumped on his back, took him for a ride. I think their feet and legs maybe got tangled up, but uh, he comes off on, a little bit, on yeah. power. So first and 10. At the 26. Wishbone formation. Looking back to the sideline for when to take the snap. And, well, Cheston Johnson's going to get about a, maybe two. And what, what they're doing, Charlie, is uh, your back judge, where they don't have the play clocks running, the back judge, when the uh, play clock gets down, I can't remember if it's 10 or five seconds, uh, he'll hold his hand right. up. So uh, Coach Hager is watching him, and when he uh, raises his hand to let him know that the time's running down, then he has his offense to run the play. So milking the clock. Absolutely. I mean, good coaching. 44-25, Floyd Central. Second down and nine. And they're waiting. Going to snap, hand it off, trying to get to the outside. And that's going to be a big run. Does he make it? Touchdown. And Shiston Johnson takes it in from 24 yards out. So 50 to 25 now. Floyd Central, 9.46 to play in the game. That may just do it there, Larry, if it didn't, wasn't already decided. Yes, yes. What's that give Sheston Johnson now on the day? Well, it gives him 58 yards on 10 carries and three touchdowns. He's got a four yard, a 14 yard, and a 24 yard touchdown run. And he'll bring the, he'll bring the big boy in for the two point conversion again. And it's the jumbo package. An illegal shift, I guess. Yeah, they, they was trying to shift the line from one side to the other, and then one of the linemen evidently went down into three-point stance. That's what the uh, white hat was indicating, that he had his hand on the ground and then come up to... Uh, uh, make the shift, and that is a false start. And Once you go to that three-point stance, uh, you can't move until the ball snap. Yeah, now they're going to go bring the regular offense back in. Five penalties now for Floyd Central, 55 yards. Empty backfield for Martin. And he's rolling out looking. And he's going to keep it himself. No, throws it to the corner. But I think he was out of bounds. Hey, down somebody get kick off. Ah, get kick off. And it'll be no good on the extra point. 50 to 25, Floyd Central. 938 to play here in the ball game. This Intermountain Sports Network. This is Brandon Spencer, Republican candidate for state representative of the 95th District in Floyd and Pike Counties. If we're going to change things in our district, it will take a team working together. The Kentucky House and Senate is now controlled by the Republican Party. I stand with Senator Rand Paul. My opponent stands with far left Charles Booker. With your vote on November the 8th, I will be part of a team that can help the 95th District. Paid for by Brandon Spencer. Looking for a new pharmacy? Howard Family Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service and convenient drive throughs at both locations. I'm Steve Little, candidate for Floyd County Jailer. I've dedicated over 25 years of my life to public service. Now I'm ready to put that experience to work in public office. As jailer, I'll ensure inmates... Floyd Central ready to kick it away here. 9.38 to play. And a little squib kick down the middle. Be taking it about the 22. Is that Robinson? Yes. Robinson trying to get to the outside. Breaks a couple of tackles. Got a flag on the play. He'll go down at about the 43. Hey! 
How many times have you said that tonight, Charlie? Yeah, a lot. <laughs> And let's see. Flag will go against the Bobcats. They'll back them up. How many times we said that today, Larry? You can tell me that one in a second. Well, we've said it 18 times because that's how many penalties Betsy Lane has for 136 yards. Mr. Penalty is leading the uh, rushing attack for the Bobcats. Yeah. So, and we're going to get some more unsportsmanlike on on Betsy Lane. So that's going to be another 15. Yeah. 151 yards. Not a way you want to go into that first playoff game, is it? 19 penalties, man. Just think about it. We had a game. Uh, like this a couple weeks ago Pike at Central, uh, Pike yeah. Central, I think it was 27 penalties between Pike Central and McGoffin County combined. And tonight we've got 24 so far. We still got nine and a half yep. minutes to play. Jet sweep coming around the outside. McCutcheon. McCutcheon, and he's got one or two people to beat if he can make it down. The oh, and McCutcheon goes down at the 45 of Floyd Central. What a run. Can get you 40, out. <laughs> 41 yards for McCutcheon. Makes him 88 yards on eight carries. We've seen some great plays here today. 11 yards a carry. So it'll be first and 10 now at the 40, 44 yard line. There's a jet sweep to the other side. And nice cutback, and there's a big hole again. And another big run, cuts back, gets inside the 10 first and goal for music. Music. And let's see where they're marking. Right at the 10, 34 yard run for music. 145 yards for him now on 15 carries. Well, that's two quick plays right there. That well, two plays that come from their 15 to Floyd Central's 10. Fake the jet sweep, looking to throw, and too tall in the end zone for Robbins. So second down and goal now from the 10. 9:03 to play, 50-25, Floyd Central with the lead. And back again, empty backfield look. See if we see another one of those jet sweeps. Here comes McCutcheon, and McCutcheon makes a cut. He'll get down to about the eight yard line, looks like. And he'll bring up third down and goal from the eight. Clock ticking at 8.40 to go in the ball game. And again, that look showing the jet sweep, throwing the pass, touch, oh, incomplete, right in. Boy, I tell you, that was right in his right hand, Landon Howell. Yep. He has one touchdown reception, could have had two. Now it's fourth and eight. Beautiful route ran by Landon Howell on that one, got the defender on his hip, run a little slant and was wide open. Good pass by the quarterback. Everything worked but the catch. Yes, you're right. So fourth and eight. Big play right here for Betsy Lane. Get back on the scoreboard, try to make a run here. Don't know if they've got enough time or not, but you know. Well, you know, it's not over to that fat lady singing. That's right. She might be a humming a little bit. Yeah, she's warming up. There's no doubt about that. There's a flag, and it's going to be intercepted in the end zone. 
see what the flag is. Yep. Illegal shift. They'll decline that, and it'll be pass is incomplete, complete. which would uh, bring it out to the 20, I think. Well, he, no, he, see, he, the ball was on the eight-yard line, so this time if they'd have caught it, it would have been an advantage for him. I thought he did catch it. No, he, he, he gave an incomplete pass. No, so, he gave an illegal shift. It was a penalty. He did? Okay. Well, all right. Uh, well, they brought it out to the 20. Okay. He, he gave the uh, shift, and, and uh, then uh, he gave this signal Decline, to again, you know. Maybe uh, maybe that's what it was. Maybe what he was trying to say. But anyway, it's at the 20. Second interception thrown by Parsons tonight. Of course, you know, you're down 25, yeah, eight, you, sec or eight minutes to go. You're just uh, trying to get points on the board yeah. any way you can. I'm going to say this could be, yep. And Peterson, the ball carrier, gets out to the 27. Pickup of seven. Second down and three. So eight minutes and counting. <laughs> They'll wait on the signal from the sideline on where to start to play. And they're still waiting. Seven thirty-seven to play. Fifty to twenty-five. And there's the snap. And trying to hurdle out there this time. Is that that is? Okay, they bring up fourth down. Sorry, lost that's, it. That's number it's 18. Shelton. What is yeah, Shelton? Yeah. No gain on the play. So third down and 20, third down and three from the 27. And they'll hold on again. Sound to 704. Betsy Lane, all 11 defenders within three yards line of scrimmage. And that's what happened earlier when Johnson. Uh, Got the corner on him and went in from 24 yards out. Yep, you're right. And now they'll do the snap and hand it off. And boy, nice tackle in the backfield that time. Back to the 26, a loss of one, and that was Peterson. The Peterson. Play. Peterson again. So fourth down and three, so they'll punt it away here, I would think. Is this the first punt we've seen tonight? I think so. I think you're right. I don't think either. Now, well, Betsy Lane had to punt once. First time Floyd Central's punted. They okay. So I think Peterson's a punter, though, so he can. And it's going to be a flag. Delay a game, yep. I think. Well, it came from illegal. Well, I don't well, know what that is. Don't know. Unsportsmanlike Betsy Lane. That's going to be a first down. Whoa. Somebody on the sideline must, side must have said something. Been yet. That's incredible, Charlie. Yep. 20 penalties. 166 yards against Betsy Lane. And Betsy Lane wanting to talk to the White Hat about this one. It's okay. And I guess I think it might be a little late start talking to White Hat after your team been penalized 20 times. Good point. So first and 10 now at the 41 yard line for Floyd Central. So 5.49 to play. 50 25, Floyd Central with the lead and the football. And 
And he'll watch that clock tick down. Martin under center takes it, hands it off. And another flag. Well, somebody for Floyd Central just piled on the pile. I don't know what that was about. That was Shelton with the carry, picking up three yards. Unsportsmanlike on Floyd Central. Well, <laughs> I mean, that was pretty obvious, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Looks like it looked like we was playing in the backyard there on that one, yep. didn't it? Just run, jumped on the pile. Yep. Pile piling, piling on. Piling on. <laughs> well. Six penalties for 70 yards now for Floyd Central. So between the two teams, 26 penalties, 236 yards. Wow. There's a handoff. And that's Peterson, I believe, isn't it? It is. And he'll get out to about the 31, gain of four. And a hammock comes flying out. Gain of four on the play. So in high school, that comes off, you got to take a playoff, right? College also. So clock running at five minutes, under five minutes now. So Floyd Central has it second down in 19. Waiting on the officials to signal the time. Martin standing over looking at the coach. Martin hands it off. That is Shelton. Shelton along down the way. And around two. We'll get two on it. Yep. And Charlie, the attorney, John Earl Hunt, Intermountain Sports Player of the Game, uh, got a lot of candidates for Floyd Central. Uh, but I think we've decided on number 15, Max Martin, the quarterback. He's got 65 yards on seven carries, a two-yard touchdown run, six of 12 in the air for 95 yards, and had a touchdown. Uh, pass so a total of 160 yards and two touchdowns for Max Martin, the attorney John Earl Hunt, Intermountain Sports player of the game. And we got a whistle flag. Yep, outside Betsy Lane. Lane. Add to the total. I never did uh, really have to get my calculator out before to add the penalties and penalty yards up. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be one of those kind of nights. 21 penalties, 171 yards for Betsy Lane. Letcher Central, 45-6 over Bourbon County. My first first score to come in. Might be a good thing that uh, this is artificial turf where there would be some laundry been having to wash oh, tonight yeah. while these flags hitting the ground. And there's Peters coming around the outside, and he's going to get up to about the 49-yard line. Going to mark him at the 47, actually. You pick up a 10. Oh, we got a flag. Oh, we got a flag, too. Wait Imagine. a minute. Hold the phone. Imagine that. And that'll be on Floyd Central. I hold him. So take that 10-yard uh, run away from Peterson. <laughs> And add 10 yards to the penalty total. Well, I'd say we're close to 300 yards total penalty. Well, I, I don't know if I've ever seen this. Of course, it's not there yet, but have you ever saw a game to where both teams had over 100 yard penalties? Nope. I don't think so. Well, Floyd Central's got 80, and Betts Lane 171. Wow. Third and 13. And Martin out wanting to throw in and pass interference. Add one more to it, Larry. Yep. Yeah. 
Charlie. You got a 25 point game, two minutes and 33 seconds left. Fisher's not doing anything to help neither one of these teams. Nope. Has no effect on the game. So it'll be a first down for Floyd Central. Nope, not an automatic first down pass interference. Well, I, what, what, what did they, they call? So I thought pass interference. Isn't that an automatic first down? I don't know what to call. Floyd Central is uh, lining up and uh, evidently they're calling it on them. No, it'll be third and 11 now. Did they what? call it on Floyd Central? Jesse! Okay. Well, I don't know. I'm confused. And Peterson, uh, he may. <laughs> Peterson may go. He is. And if the official's been up for a closer, they might have called a taunting penalty. They should have had. They, you're exactly right. 69 yards. So 56 25, 218 to play. Been a crazy night. We're almost there, Charlie. Yep. 95 yards penalties for Floyd Central, 171 for Betsy Lane. Trying to get one more. He got him out there, I guess, before the whistle. Kick is up. That's good. So 57. 25 Floyd Central, 218 to play. We'll be right back. This is Intermountain Sports Network. The Appalachian Advantage plan is the simpler, better way to get the phone you actually want instead of paying hundreds of dollars up front. Simply pay the taxes up front and a few extra dollars a month and get the phone you really want. It's called the Appalachian Advantage, available at Appalachian Wireless. Ashley Tackett Lafferty's record in Frankfurt is proof that we can count on her to defend traditional mountain values in working families. She votes to protect life, strengthen education, support first responders, and protect our Second Amendment. That's why she's been endorsed by teachers, coal miners, police officers, and the NRA. Ashley Tackett Lafferty is our trusted voice in the Kentucky House. Re-elect Ashley Tackett Lafferty. She fights for us. Left in the ball game, 57 25 as number 11 BJ Peterson takes it 69 yards for a touchdown for Floyd Central. The extra point was good, and Floyd Central set to kick off. By far, the most points put up by Floyd Central this yes. year. And we're ready to kick it away. And going to kick it, try to kick it deep. Robinson hits him in the helmet, but he picks it up. No, that's not Robinson this time. Coming back through, and he'll be out to about the 40. Was that Dylan Williams, number 12? Did I read that 20, right? 22. 22. Okay, I just saw a two. Byron, Byron Tackett. And what's the amazing part, Charlie? No penalties on the field. That's true. It's very seldom we've gone to play without a penalty. So 2.15 left in the ball game. 57-25. Floyd Central leading. Betsy Lane coming back up the line of scrimmage. Let's see if we can get a series without a penalty, Larry. Right. Not going to have twins each way. And yeah, they're going to hand it off in the backfield. McCutcheon. McCutcheon, nice run. McCutcheon gets that across midfield to the 49-yard line. Going to get nine out of it. Midfield, they're going to mark him, I think. Yeah. 
McCutcheon right now 99 yards on 10 carries. Second down and two. Wins each way in the shotgun. Parsons. There's that jet sweep to McCutcheon, McCutcheon again. again. And McCutcheon's got a first down and more. Breaks a tackle and slides down to about the 33-yard line. First and 10, Betsy Lane. 17 more, 116 yards, 11 carries, McCutcheon. McCutcheon just a sophomore, Charlie. Yeah. And we'll have twins each way in the in the shotgun. This time we're gonna give it to music on the end on the jet sweep. Music breaks one tackle, cuts back inside. And he's going to get down close to the, well, I think he'll get across the 25, isn't he? We're going to mark him right, right at, at the 25. 25. Okay. Pick up a nine. 154 yards for music. 102 left in the ball game, 57-25. Betsy Lane calls the timeout. We'll take one more break, 57-25, Floyd Central. 102 to play on the Intermountain Sports Network. Fully wireless sensors mean easy installation without damage from drilling. One app gives you total control over every aspect of your home. The ultimate deterrent for porch pirates. Know exactly when you receive a delivery. You need security that is a fully integrated security solution. Encrypted end-to-end -end and professionally monitored. Enjoy the peace of mind that comes from a professional smart security system. Everything you love about TV and more. Live, recorded, on demand, all in HD. Plus, easily find and watch your favorite shows. Anywhere, on any device. Parsons looking to throw. He's going toward that corner of the end zone. It is knocked down. Nice defense that time by Floyd Central. Pass intended to for Landon Howe. 28-27, Shelby Valley over Hazard in a wild one down there. And so some big, trying to get just get some scores out. <clears throat> Parsons again. There's that jet sweep. There's that McCutcheon again. And another penalty. And another penalty. And McCutcheon down to the 15. And I'm sure one of them's a 15-yard penalty. Where you at? We got illegal substitution on Betsy Lane declined. Holding on Betsy Lane is taken. 10-yard penalty. That was close. Well, it would have been 15 if they counted them both. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I've ever seen this many penalties in a ball game. 22 penalties on Betsy Lane, 181 yards. So we've hit 300 yards in penalties between the two teams easily. Oh, no doubt. Well, uh, right now, not exactly, Charlie. Hold your horses. 276. 276 <laughs> yards in penalties total. Wow. Still got 49 seconds, though, Larry. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, we got time. We got <laughs> the way they're flying tonight, we got plenty of time. Now we have the legal substitution. Oh, so it's going to be all setting penalties. penalties. Okay. Oh, well. <laughs> and you got a 57 25 game with 49 seconds left. And, you know, and just like Forrest Gump, that's all I'm going to say oh, about there that. There you go. 57-25, Floyd Central. 49 seconds left. And back to throw. And under pressure is Parsons. He gets free. Running out, running, throwing on the run. Got a man. McCutcheon. Touchdown, McCutcheon. 25 yards out. 57-31. 39 seconds left. Woo! 
What a ball game. So we got 88 points total, 170 yards penalties total. We got some big numbers out there today. We do. So Betsy Lane will go for two here. Parsons in the shotgun. We'll throw it toward the corner, and that'll be two-point conversion. Number 22, Byron Tackett. Yep, go to the big guy. So 57-33, Floyd Central with 39 seconds left in the ball game. We'll be right back. This is Intermountain Sports Network. You plan on being there for her for a long, long time. For recitals. Soccer games. Graduations. Until she's a grown-up of her own. But what if you can't be there? Protect what matters most. Talk to a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent about life insurance. Come bless me, Daddy. Talk to Agent John Greer Hunt today at 606-791-2122. Welcome back to Betsy Lane, 57-33, Floyd Central with the lead. And Betsy Lane set to take the, to kick the ball away. And just a wild night here on the hill, Larry. Yeah, you can say that again. We've had uh, senior night and a lot of scoring, a lot of excitement <laughs> up and down the field. Be interested in seeing the yards these two teams have put up. Yeah, there's going to be a lot. There's a lot of yards out there. A lot uh, of yards and everything out you, there. You you think that uh, Betsy Lane's going to go for an onside kick? I would I would imagine. Why not, you know? And Floyd Central Floyd just Central. falls at it on the 36-yard line. Now, Floyd Central can take the victory formation and, and, and end this right now, right? They can. And hopefully they will. <laughs> so, but... <clears throat> Congratulations to Max Martin, our attorney John Earl Hunt, Intermountain Sports Player of the Game. We'll be giving him a plaque here after the ball game. Let's see what uh, Floyd Central will do here. Lining up in the wishbone. Martin will go under center. And he does take a knee. So that will should do it. 57-33 will be the final as Floyd Central will get their first win of the season, snapping the losing streak they've had for a while up at uh, Floyd Central. So Betsy Lane will be in the playoffs next week. Uh, they will travel to Paris. We're going to take a break. We'll be back with some final stats and comments on the Intermountain Sports Network. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, Social Security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Looking for a new pharmacy? Howard Family Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service and convenient drive throughs at both locations. With Gearheart Fiber coming soon to the city of Pikeville, you can work, play, chat, explore at the speed of light. Fiber technology delivers massive data to your home through strands of glass. Perfect for streaming 4K video. Websites load super fast and play games like never before, no matter how many devices are connected. Experience Gearheart Fiber, coming soon to the city of Pikeville. Click gearheartfiber.com to find out more. 
I'm Zachary McCoy. I'm running for jailer of Floyd County, Kentucky, with over 10 years of experience in correction and a degree in criminal justice. I'm the only qualified candidate for this position. Vote for me, Zachary McCoy, Floyd County Jailer, 2022. Hello, this is Brandon Spencer, Republican candidate for state representative of the 95th District in Floyd and Pike Counties. If we're going to change things in our district, it will take a team working together. The Kentucky House and Senate is now controlled by the Republican Party. I stand with Senator Rand Paul. My opponent stands with far left Charles Booker. With your vote on November the 8th, I will be part of a team that can help the 95th District. Paid for by Brandon Spencer. The Appalachian Advantage plan is the simpler, better way to get the phone you actually want instead of paying hundreds of dollars up front. Simply pay the taxes up front and a few extra dollars a month and get the phone you really want. It's called the Appalachian Advantage, available at Appalachian Wireless. You plan on being there for her for a long, long time. For recitals, soccer games, graduations, until she's a grown-up of her own. But what if you can't be there? Protect what matters most. Talk to a Kentucky Farm Bureau agent about life insurance. Come push me, Daddy. Talk to Agent John Greer Hunt today at 606-791-2122. Howard Family Pharmacy offers fast and friendly service and drive throughs at both locations at the intersection in Allen and off Route 80 at Eastern. Welcome back to Betsy Lane High School, 57-33 the final as Floyd Central gets their first win of the season in a big fashion, Larry. Yes, they did. Uh, they came in to the hill here at Betsy Lane and uh, really just took it to the Bobcats. Uh, go over some final numbers. First for Betsy Lane, music 16 carries. 154 yards and one touchdown. Robinson had eight carries for 40 yards. McCutcheon, 11 carries, 116 yards and a touchdown. Parsons, two carries, eight yards and a touchdown. As far as uh, in the passing game, Parsons was eight of 18, 94 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions. Music had one pass and it was complete for a 45 yard. And receiving-wise, Robinson had seven catches, 96 yards for Betsy Lane. Howe, one catch, 13 yards and a touchdown. And McCutcheon, one catch, 25 yards and a touchdown. Betsy Lane, Charlie, was penalized 21 times, 171 yards uh, in those penalties. And they had the two turnovers. Those were the interceptions. Final total for Betsy Lane, 37 carries, 318 yards, three touchdowns, nine of 19 in the passing game, 139 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions. So Betsy Lane run 55 plays, 477 total yards, and five touchdowns. For Floyd Central, Adams carried it seven times, 46 yards, Colt Shelton uh, carried it 12 times for 76 yards, one touchdown. Peterson had 13 carry, oh, excuse me, 12 carries, 127 yards. He had a touchdown. Johnson, 10 carries, 58 yards, and three touchdowns. And Thacker carried it one time, three yards, and a touchdown. Martin, Max Martin, number 15. He had seven carries, 65 yards, and a touchdown. In the passing game, Martin had six or six or 12 for 95 yards and a touchdown. So he had 160 total yards, two touchdowns. Max Martin was voted as the Attorney John Earl Hunt, Intermountain Sports Player of the Game. As far as receiving, uh, Chase Martin, three catches, 51 yards. Brody Buck, three catches, 44 yards, and a touchdown. Floyd Central had uh, eight penalties for 95 yards. So total uh, plays and yards for Floyd Central, 49 plays, 375 yards, seven touchdowns on the ground, six to 12 through the air, 95 yards, and one touchdown. So a total of 61 plays, 470 yards, eight touchdowns, 947 yards combined between the two teams. Wow. Almost 1,000 yards and 90 points. 
57-33. Floyd Central gets their first win of the season. That'll wrap it up for us here on the hill at Betsy Lane for Wayne on camera, for Alex back at the studio, for my partner, Ray Cecil, Charlie Pinson. We'll see you next week on the Intermountain Sports Network.